everybody. Welcome. Nice to see you. Good to be back. Uh, it's Monday, start of the week. We got things to do, places to go, people to see. We've got things to catch up on. We've got a big Twitter purchase by Elon Musk. We've got some terrible fucking pictures and stories coming out of Ukraine. Uh, we've got a brand new method slash manifesto in dealing with COVID. A, we've got uh, an intervention at the end of the program today. Uh, you'll love it Big if thing. you love chaos and awkwardness. Welcome to the program. My name is Dean. That is Lachlan Cross from 95.7 Cruise FM at Edmonton at Lachlan Cross on Twitter. Resident Brainiac uh, Ryan Lindley from the Sheeple Shepherd podcast at Ryan Lindley on Twitter is where you can find him. Good to see you, boys. How was the weekend, Linz? Your weekend was all right? Looked good? Nice? Followed you yeah, on was, Twitter? I followed you all along. Just twittering. You are tweetering all weekend, and you looked happy. My... You, didn't, you didn't cry. You didn't snap. You didn't tell anybody to fuck off. It was, seemed like a pretty calm weekend for you. For me, I actually was, uh, other than a little <laughs> restaurant issue on uh, Saturday. Uh, we had a, we had a pretty oh, nice... Oh, I would hate nice to go weekend. to a restaurant with you. Oh, fuck. You, you would. Dude. Yeah. You would. I love you, Linz. But my wife, I, my wife hates it too. Just so you know. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Uh, did she get stressed when you? get she sweats. What people don't know is that is it Linz is a bit of a foodie. Everyone. Yeah. And so, and he speaks up when he goes to places, and it's not up to Lindley standards. So what happens? I'm sorry, my egg is not El Don. Do you have any grape poupon? <laughs> He's. I'll guy. take it. Yeah, I'll um, take it. You charge me sixteen bucks for fucking crab dip. You're gonna hear about it if it's not good. <laughs> is that what happened? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we haven't been to a restaurant in 2 years. Like we've been on patios but not inside. We said, you yeah. know, before this new wave decides to take us over and we end up like Shanghai, we're going to go and we're going to enjoy a meal oh in a restaurant. God. And uh yeah, no it was uh it was deplorable. As yeah. I would put it. And uh as soon as my wife <laughs> it wasn't even me. As soon as she saw it hit the table, she looked at me, she goes, "I'm sweating." She goes, "I know what you're going to do. I'm sweating." And yeah, it goes, it gets sent right back. And I didn't need to cause that. a scene. No, absolutely. Are you not. one of those guys? No, 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 did, no. Did, did, why did you send? Because of how it looked? No, it was uh, literally a crab and lobster dip that uh, had two pieces of the end of my pinky of lobster in it that deep in the dish that was this big around that they charged me 16 bucks for. So I said, um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not having it. The uh, the pita bread things that they gave us were microwaved and soggy, and uh, they we ordered like you know those deep fried dill pickle things. Those assholes. We put that on the table just for snacks, and uh, it was like the McCain frozen fish stick looking motherfuckers, and it was uh, burnt. And uh, I said, you know what? You're charging me ten bucks for those, sixteen bucks for that. I'm not eating any of this. Yeah. So the girl came over, and I'm always nice to the guy. And you know, dude, you know by the second dish you complained about, they're just shoving pubes in your food at that. Oh, point. I don't, I don't eat after that. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. eat after. Just I don't order anything burgers. else. That's just a done. strong a move, pube just sandwiches. based on my experience in the restaurant business. <laughs> complaining about more than one thing. Anyway, sorry, continue. No. Yes, I agree. No, yeah. it was gone. Even, even Ash Ashley was too hungry, so she ate through half of her sandwich before this went, all went down. So, I just said. Thanks, but no thanks. That's good good enough. And, uh, you know, I end up tipping. Well, it's and this a is good the... thing you're an alcoholic and you can drink. <laughs> your meal. That's what I did. I had, I had myself a beer. I was And the beer was fantastic. It was yeah. cold. It was nice and bubbly. Well, it's hard to fuck that up, right? And that's kind of it. So I said, uh, yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm just not paying for it. And uh, the girl gets ends up getting, and this happens. I have a system here, which is tells you how often this happens. Where I will you got tip an asshole system. I will tip the the waitress the full amount of the meal, including the food that she did serve me that I wouldn't eat. Like I, I I put that into the tip, so it's not her fault. It's just when you use the word chef in your fucking menu, and all you're doing is deep frying food. <laughs> that's pretty fucking. Rich. Hey, can I ask you a question? Where the, where the, was the menu? Did it say chef inspired, or did chef it say is... chef? No, no, the chef self. chef special. The chef has. <laughs> You know, the, the chef's chef special is, is leftovers, oh, right? It's just shit they eat. picked up at shoppers the night before because they didn't have oh, any mozzarella with sticks. Lindley. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'd rather go to a, a McDonald's yeah. or a fucking Wendy's because you know what you're getting. Fucking right. And sewage. But you yeah. can count on that sewage. You you're like, yes, on. I can eat that. I know what sometimes right. sewage it's tastes tasty. Like. <laughs> sometimes sewage is not bad depending on how long over oh, you are. But, but when you yeah. sell me cheese whiz with fucking canned tuna in it and try to pull the wool over my eyes and call it a fucking crab and lobster dip, go fuck yourself. 
GFY. Yeah, it's my new manifesto. We'll get to that later in the show. Um, so you had a terrible weekend. Just uh, that day. Everything else was great. Everything else was good? Okay, just that day. Remind me to never go to a restaurant with you fucking ever. Yeah. Speaking okay. of which, remind me I never really to go to a party with Locke if he's not drinking. Can I play mm-hmm. a clip from this weekend? Oh, yeah. I so think I know he, what this is. You know how he had the wig on on Friday and he's like, fuck dress up parties. I got to go to a fucking dress up party. got to get dressed up. He looked like Bob Ross. And we had a great I thought time they were it. pranking me. No, mm-hmm. they that wasn't the case. All those assholes dressed up too. every yeah. single one. So okay. you had a dress up yeah. party. You and your wife went to it. And Except you sent us, Chris, he didn't you, dress up. No, of course he didn't. He's fucking always in dress up. He wore, um, a, Led, he wore a Led Zeppelin shirt. Oh, did he? Really? Although, <laughs> uh, uh, is he listening behind? Uh, he's coming on the show in just a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. As long as he's not listening, because I don't know if he knows this. Grant has a whole bunch of friends over from Saskatchewan and he told them all that uh, army chris was uh transitioning <laughs> to from female to male <laughs> jesus christ you know that conversation we just had in the green room <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is where that comes yeah, from about how you can't talk about certain things the sensitivity yeah, you're going down in the day. yeah i might be getting yeah um but it wasn't what amazed me about it is, first of all, um, I thought you were lying because you sent us a note. You're like, I'm the DD tonight. You weren't lying, lying. Uh, which is a fucking shame. Second of all, you sent us this video, uh, which <laughs> made me laugh for 48 solid hours. This is Jimmy doing some Garth Brooks. Watch this fucking. Bro- go there's jimmy uh jesus fucking christ one of his favorite tunes i think there's (laughs) there's obviously some connection between low places he's a little person i love the fact that you didn't fix the video no so that it stretched him out so he looks even bigger huge yeah that goya on him yeah Yeah. goya what a boiler like yeah. that he, boiler on him, you know, and this is one of the reasons why I love him is he doesn't give a fuck. Like the no. shirt's too short. He's like, I don't give a shit. I, I'm going to go and I'm going to sing and I'm going to get as wasted as I fucking can. We and had about a half an hour conversation on the show today about his apartment and how bad it smells. Like he's in his forties <laughs> and his parents, <laughs> when they would come and visit his family, they yeah. will not come into his apartment. They sit on the, st- like they, drive up to the house and wait for him to come out. They will not go into his apartment because they know they grew up. And I'm like, are you embarrassed by it? And he's like, no, he's just not, he doesn't doesn't care. care. He's not embarrassable. he, He cares because when I go up to use the bathroom and I see garbage on the floor, like in the bag that hasn't been taken out, I, I yell at him. Like he, he's more concerned about the, conflict with me his stepfather i've taken that role <laughs> then he is about the smell of his apartment and i'm telling you it smells like the inside of satan's ass sometimes <laughs> some days when i go up there it's so fucking bad <laughs> well and he doesn't he doesn't yeah, care th- that, that wasn't the worst part of your weekend like the worst no. part of your weekend was having to not drink that, for an entire party, party. Right. Oh god like Get i don't and i and as a non-drinker and someone who used to drink a lot I quick question. Does does Edmonton not have Uber? Okay, well, first off, Grant got a um uh, a house in the middle yeah. of fucking nowhere. Right. And then had all of his buddies come out and they rented like it's like a 10 bedroom house. It's kind of cool. Oh, like an Airbnb. Right? Yeah, it's an Airbnb and it's out like literally it's an hour drive from our place from in St. Albert. 
And um, and he wasn't thinking about Locke and Jimmy when he booked it because he wanted everybody to stay out there. But I'm not a go out and sleep in a strange house kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, sleep with a bunch of millennials. I'm just I'm not going to do it. You got a dog at home and stuff. Yeah. So I but I all it's his stag stag at. They did a combo thing, and I didn't want to miss it. I've been working with the kid for six years. And I, you know, we're going to his wedding in Saskatchewan. I want to make sure I'm there. Right. So I said to the wife, do you want to go? It turned into a caution party. She never like, listen, the thing about my wife is she doesn't let her hair down very often. And when she gets excited about something, she was making our costumes all week. And Jimmy stepfather already previously mentioned, Jimmy had a thing on Saturday morning. So I said, listen, I'll drive us out there. You guys can drink. I'll drive home. Um, I said, Jimmy, you need to fucking, Jimmy doesn't drive. So it's not like he's going to be DD. I said to Jimmy, you need to fucking control yourself because this thing that he did on Saturday with Kelly Ferlardo from the pink shirt day presentation that we did on the podcast Mm -hmm. back in, in February. She brought him on for one of her summits that she's, she's launching this whole new campaign and he's part of that. And it's a big deal. And it was, he had to get up and get ready to go on Saturday. So I was kind of babysitting Jimmy because he's like me. You get two beer in him. It means 10. So I had a plan for the night. We let, we had dinner at my house. We drove out there and I thought we'll have a couple of drinks. They can have a couple of drinks We'll say our pleasantries and then we'll fuck off. Jimmy got into it. As you can see, the (laughs) wife got into it. She was having a good time. Yeah. And I wanted to be home by 10 ish. It was fucking midnight by the time I was like coaxing them out the door. And here's the thing. I'm not proud of myself because I should be able to be in a room with a bunch of people and be social for and a couple not of have hours to be fucked in the head like wasted and not have to be drunk off my tree to have a good time unfortunately oh. i'm not there yet and How i was a miserable cock for a good 3 hours of the 5 or 6 <laughs> that we were there And I went out of my way to try to ruin everybody's night because I wasn't getting what I wanted. And I realized that that is very selfish of me and I'm working on it. (laughs) I wasn't the best person to be around. The self-awareness with this one is incredible. Mm -hmm. Like after the fact to go, I was a cock for five solid hours. I couldn't (laughs) help it. And I should be able to not be a cock for five hours. But because I wasn't drinking, that's all you could think about. Dude, the drunker I would get, the more interesting people were at parties because we're wired the same, dude. We're wired the fucking same. We're the same cat. It's like, you want me to go there when I don't enjoy being there? That is why I get drunk at these things. I get drunk at these things so I can go to these things. Right. Yep. And then when you don't get drunk and you go to the things you're like, I'm the most selfish cock in the world. I can't even sit through this shit, which is shit. It's like garbage because you're like, I'm not having fun. I'm resentful. Everybody else is getting wasted. I got to drive everybody home. And I know that feeling at the end of the night where it's like 12 o'clock. And if it was you and if someone else was driving, you'd be like this. Do we have to go now, right? We we drag it out. And you're like, it is fucking time to go because if I stay here for one more second, I'm going to have a drink. And then we're in trouble. About 11 p.m., I I started packing the car, thinking that would be a signal. Loudly. To my wife. (laughs) Did you walk around around behind her with her coat, too? Like your... No, here's your coat just in case you're no, ready I to just, leave anytime. And then th- that didn't get anybody's attention. She was just, she was actively ignore, ignoring me. So then I fucking got in the car and drove away and I got a block away. And I'm like, ah, fuck, grow up. You were going to do that. Yeah. You were going to leave her at the party. Oh, wow. Wow. Good for you. <laughs> I was that annoyed <laughs> and that childish the, that I drove. The dog, dog's got a pee guilt trip. 
Yeah. Dog's probably no, gonna- why I don't mean- you pull the fucking dog card, dude? I used to do that all yep. the time. I'd be at parties and people's like, why are you leaving so early? I'm like, got to take care of the dog. They're like, your dog's eight. What's I'm like, wrong with know. me that I get I home can't- to my kids? Your kid's 22. Why are you going home? I'm like, I just What's fucking hate that I can't be, be social in that situation. It's, it's like- not. It's not a, it's not your problem. It's not you lock. It's everybody else. And that's why you notice when you go to a party and you get waste, like every, like if you're late and you have to like power drink to get caught up, it's so that you don't get fucking annoyed with them. Cause drunk people are fucking annoying. Oh yeah. yeah. And when you're sober, sober people, yeah, big time. Yeah. You're sober. You know, person I don't want to, I wouldn't want to hang out with me when I was shit faced. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to hang out with this you. Yeah, the fuck up. Yeah. When's he going to stop the complaining about the I need to work on it, though. I it's mean, okay. I no, get that. You, you guys are it. giving me an out because you're you're my friend. But I, I, I mean, I don't need to go and ruin everybody's night because I can't fucking have a couple of drinks. Well, it makes right, for a way can't. worse story when you don't. So I'm glad you kind of were yeah. miserable yeah. the other night. So thank you. Speaking of miserable people that drink, please welcome back to the program from the Fire for Effect podcast. Army Chris at the Army Chris on Twitter. Are you listening to this? You listen to the yeah. Lachlan sad story. Yeah, I heard. I heard what he said. Yep, and all of it. I I just sent you guys a picture on text, and if you have a chance, look at it. It'll show you how fucking impressed he looks. <laughs> Were you at this party too? <laughs> yeah, I was standing next to him, <laughs> watching him count beers. <laughs> He's got this Juan Epstein wig on from Welcome Back, Potter. Look at him. He's so fucking miserable. I'm just watching TV. My wife my wife wanted me to leave the costume on. That's Deb brilliant. was getting lit up and in I a said, Christmas tree. Locke had to not drink, that. so his fucking lip was dragging on the floor, and he's watching hockey. Look at Jimmy. Just, just getting he, into it. You know what he, he looks like? like? I'll, he looks I'll like control this. myself. It looks like a crushed a version of L. Ron Hubbard there. It's <laughs> kind of what he looks like. It's the weirdest. <laughs> Hold that up again. He looks like a tiny little L. Ron Hubbard. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's fucking. And he's like, Lock, are you sure you're going to be okay if you're not drinking? You know, and Lock, that, this is the look on Lachlan's face. He's like, shut the fuck up. You know what? And the, <laughs> this like is Stude the thing. Hefner. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Stu Hefner. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I will be friends with James P. White until the day I die. Yeah. Um, and, or until we bury him, whatever comes first. Um, and Jimmy is, what if you die? he's becoming more self-aware because of me, right? Cause I've been forcing him to realize the things that he is unaware of in his life. But the thing that pissed me off this morning when we were talking about this, cause I brought up the fact that I was a dick. I was trying to, I was, I was going to apologize to him for being such a rude dick on Friday night. Right. And, um, and then he goes, yo, I know how you feel. I mean, there's been lots of times where I haven't been able to drink and I'm like, God, no, we're not going there. You don't drive. One. <laughs> People drive you all over the damn city all yeah. the time. Yeah. You are shit faced when I pick <clears throat> you up. Most events he pre drinks because he's cheap and he doesn't want to have to drink full price liquor when we go out. So he'll crush four or five beer in the den of sadness before I even pick him up. I'm like, you've never, ever. Can you believe he was trying to sell this as something that he, we share in common? The, you know, the DD. I, I, I totally know what you're talking about, Locke. I, you know, when we had to go out and I haven't been able to drink. Army Chris knows exactly what I'm talking about. I try to get him to drive all the time. because I figured my, my, my drunk math said, well, Jimmy should drive because he can't get an impaired because he doesn't even have a license. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a brick. Take a I hockey love, stick I into the that. truck with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple of books. Push the gas. On those so you can see over the steering wheel. Yeah, that'd be great. Great idea. And then he ended Push up the... he ended up sleeping in Locke's van while fucking Locke was trying to convince Deborah it was time to go home. I had he was to put him it. to he was yeah. he was getting too far gone. And I'm like, you gotta go crap. So I put him to bed and then I came back in and spent the next hour trying to get Deborah out of the party. Well, at least your wife had a good time, right? Like that's she really loves. She had a good time. You, you little self awareness there. You know you're an asshole if you're not wasted. Might need some addressing at some point. Fifty two. Why bother? That's my theory. I mean, hey, you know that you need to be drunk at parties. Yeah, I mean, who cares? It doesn't matter. You had a you had a terrible time. You know yourself well enough to know that. Hey, listen, I'm not a good person unless I'm drunk. Yeah, and Locke's shitty time made my night better. <laughs> you know what? 
Did you I'm like gonna, watching? Hang on. Did you like watching t-shirt. him pissed off? Did you Absolutely. like Chris? Yeah, yeah you I did. Was like, I said this is the most miserable motherfucker in the room, man. <laughs> Everybody here is having a good time. Everybody's numb, lit up like a Christmas tree, and Locke is just staring, standing there with his fucking spritzer or whatever he's drinking. No, he had a couple of Coors Lights or something. Puss. Buble. Hating, had a buble. I had one pill life. when I got there, and that was it. I shut her down. Just yeah. hating his life. And then he's got this hour and a half drive from hell from Lloyd Minster back to St. Albert. So <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate that that uh that you 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 picked up on how miserable Love I his was because I was really trying to let yeah. everybody in that room know how miserable I was. Well and there's nothing worse when you have a severe drinking problem is watching everybody around you get tanked while you're sitting there going Thank you. Whatever, I can do that better than all of you. So fuck you. Like that makes yeah. you angry as well, right? You know what? That's not the case though. Oh, I'm really? actually a lightweight. I'm a not a good drinker. I usually no. pass out. The first one passed out all the time. Yeah, no too. kidding. We saw that last weekend. Yeah. 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 Just passing out well, everywhere. But we passing started at, at Christmas, noon. Passing out on the street. Passing out mm-hmm. inside the restaurant. Just passing out. You'd like a big pass. He has router. the same pose. He like he has this. I I, I just came out so of the womb pose. Yeah, I know. He looks right? like he just committed a series of crimes and he's waiting Wait, trial. Or just or yeah, I was gonna say waiting to talk to the father at confession. <laughs> He's, he's got like, his hands yeah. between his knees. He's semi-fetal yeah. and his, his hands are always together. I know. It's like fucked. He did, it's awesome. he did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't. Glad you're here. Well, lots to get to. Um, I want to, the reason why Army Chris is here, we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about Ukraine. Obviously, Chris, uh, 25 year combat veteran. He's got the Fire for Effect podcast right here at DeanBlundell.com, Apple, Google, Spotify, etc. It's where you can download it. He brings a bunch of people together, former vets, to talk about everything from military tactics to uh PTSD. you know. PTSD Drinking. to uh, anything, wellness, combat, strategy. It's fucking cool. Fire for Effect is the name of the podcast. Chris, glad you're here. Uh, you're back for the week. Um, Ukraine. A couple things I want to get to. War crimes. We've got some uh, egregious, and I'm just letting everybody know. Prior to us actually putting these up, because uh, yeah. war crimes is the name of the game. We found out on Friday uh, that, uh, well, we found out a week ago that Russia was going to pull out of certain areas, Buka, Irpin, Chernobyl, a couple of other cities that were in the north because they wanted to concentrate their efforts on areas. They were just getting their asses kicked. Uh, as a as a fuck you to the Ukrainian people, they raped, pillaged, uh, burnt, shot, executed um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I, I mean, they're, they're, they're still looking, uncovering mass graves all across these two beautiful uh, suburbs just outside of the city of Kiev. So just to give you kind of some backstory, and the reason why I wanted to have you here is because we need to identify what war crimes are. Now, Alex has sent me uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of visuals, images of some of the worst things I've seen. He's given me access to the International Criminal Court's war crime file. So I actually That's, have a Google yeah. Drive of some of the most uh, heinous shit you've ever seen. Are we seen. supposed to Sorry have luck. this stuff? Yeah, yeah. He shared it with me, gave it to me. Uh, we okay. put out, if you go to DeanBlundell.com, you can check out uh, one of the actual posts that I put up. Uh, pictures you've never seen before. Some you have, some have been published, some you have not. Uh, but if you go there, you can have a look at it. Now, listen, Chris, I don't want to upset you or gross you out. I know you've dealt with some pretty incredible things in your lifetime. Yeah. Um, but I want to ask you about war crimes, if you're okay with it, because I promised yep. Alex, and and and, uh, and I'm just prefacing everything again. These are very graphic images, some graphic video we're going to show you about the reality of what the Russian soldiers and what Putin's uh, soldiers are doing to innocent men, women, and children in the whole of Ukraine. Buka and Erpin are just a couple of examples mm-hmm. of what is happening to these innocent civilians. So. Before Alex, we get to that, let's, let's explain who Alex is because he's yeah. been on the podcast. Somebody might be just jumping in right now. Well, yep. I'm going to play. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. It's a great segue. Didn't even know it. Fuck, we are simpatico. Uh, Alex Dyrebekov <clears throat> is a regular on this show. He's going to be here tomorrow to go through all of these pictures, all of these videos. We will have more. Uh, he is in Ukraine and he is he was helping with uh you know, doing bomb shelter supply, getting people mm-hmm. into safety, he was getting people food, coordinating that effort in and around Kiev. He is now documenting war crimes, right? So the war crimes that he's documenting are the pictures we we're going to show you, some of which you have not seen. This is Alex appearing on CNN, just to refresh your memory. You, you've seen him on the show dozens of times already. He's a very good friend of ours. Uh, but this is him with Jim Acosta on CNN, kind of talking about what we're going to talk about here. Watch this. Oh, yesterday That was such an easy game to play 
I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. And uh, Alex uh, Derebikoff joins me now. Uh, Alex, uh, first of all, uh, that was beautiful what you did there for your son. Uh, your son was born just two weeks before the war started. Um, tell us about how life is going for you right now. Why has it been important for you to document your daily life for the world to see? Well, uh, yesterday is, is, is the right song for, for this situation. You know, I've been singing it to my first son, who is 25 years old now, and I sing it to this kid as well. And while I'm singing it now, I really, you know, uh, reflect on it. And I, and I was really shocked and I started even crying that, you know, the, some of the words really are about this situation. I'm, a, I'm the half a man I used to be, you know. There's a shadow hanging over me. This is all about the situation now. We, the, 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 cha the life changed completely within this time, completely. Wow. Yeah. So there's Alex. There's Very an interesting emotional. story behind the Beatles <clears throat> connection with him and his and his children, too, with mm -hmm. this newborn that was born uh, weeks before the start of this conflict. He told us uh, when he first I think it was the first time he made an appearance on on the, yeah. the Dean Blundell podcast network that he uh, he um, selfishly hopes that um, maybe the fact that two of the Beatles were born during the bombing in England. Um, maybe that, maybe that was a foreshadowing for, for his, for his son. He wants his son to be a rock star. So that's, <laughs> yeah. that's the Beatles thing. And he will yeah. be probably, I mean, you grew up with a dad that that's that resilient and, uh, yeah. you know, you, I hope you, so. just lovely, lovely human being. Um, mm -hmm. we're exchanging some texts on the weekend <clears throat> and it was difficult. I wrote a piece about it today. Uh, some of the stuff that he was telling me, uh, he stopped and left, uh, like he left the chat. And he went for a, went for a walk, and this walk he went for was to clear his head because he just couldn't couldn't talk about it anymore. I mean, he just couldn't. He couldn't, and I, I don't blame him because of what he's had to consume. Now he's consuming some of the worst of the worst, and the the, the, the consuming is the consuming part is that um, you know he has to see this graphic shit that nobody should have to watch, nobody should have to look at. <clears throat> not just see it, document it, break it down, load it into files and share it with certain news outlets. We were fortunate enough or, you know, maybe unfortunate, but fortunate enough for the case that he gave us a, a ton of stuff. So <clears throat> we published it at DeanBlundell.com. You can go and have a look at it. His name is in the post uh, and you can see some of these pictures. But <clears throat> to that point, Chris, war crimes, what we're seeing here. Uh, are being called war crimes. And again, very graphic. Don't look if you can't. Uh, we're going to be placing this. I don't know how long these are going to last. I don't know if we're going to get dinged for graphic content, but we're telling you and we've told you and it's in the description. It's very graphic. Uh, some of these pictures you haven't seen before. So, uh, Chris, from what you've seen before we look at these pictures, um, what is what rises? What is work? What is a war crime? How, what? Because to me, war is a crime in itself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and you're correct. So let, let's give people some background on that, because the, the, What's considered a war crime is, is is what contravenes the Geneva Conventions that were set out in 1949, 73 years ago. So it's not even that new. Prior to 1949, it wasn't even a thing. And we can get into the history of civilian casualties in World War II, and, you know, created by both sides. But 49, you know, after dropping a couple nuclear fucking bombs on Japan and firebombing Tokyo and killing over 300,000 people, it's, well, we need a better system here. So the Geneva <laughs> Convention since 1949 have defined how prisoners of war uh, and non-combatants are to be treated or, or managed, if you will, during armed conflict. And that's that's where that started. And, and that's how the evolution of what defines war crimes um, have evolved to today through through every conflict since then. Yeah. What's the governing principle, though, uh, behind what qualifies as a war crime? You can't you can't do any of the shit Russia's doing. You're not allowed to bomb civilian targets. 
like apartment buildings, which they have, have fucking admitted to doing. Hospitals, you can't. Schools. Um, you, you cannot you know, kill POWs at random. There's rules that define how prisoners of war to be treated. Uh, it's and, and they're just ignoring all that shit. And there's probably, well, we'll, we'll dive into that. So that that those rules, those rules of warfare. Yeah. If, if you will, which have been violated by everybody. When we we're going to separate genocide from this later on. Yeah. Because that that buzzword's floating around, which is really irritating me. But uh, yes, in terms of, of, of definitive war crimes, the evidence that we've seen, and I haven't qualifies. seen all these pictures you've got, fucking well, 100% qualifies up. at that. Yeah. They all had right, that Russian pilot who was captured, a little, little senior Russian pilot who was flying in on an apartment building, and he was he, he, he radioed back and said, this is an apartment, this isn't on a strategic target, and he was directed to bomb it anyway. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. It's a civilian apartment buildings. Right. And then he got shot well, down, and captured, and spewed his guts. Yeah. And it's not, that's not the only example of that. I mean, no, hundreds and thousands right. of examples of, 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 you know, people saying, hey, listen, are you sure you want us to kill these people? But it's not just that. I mean, Putin, uh, from what we're seeing, and I talked to Alex, he gave the okay to rape and pillage, leave behind as much yep. destruction, scare the shit out of these people as much as you can. I mean, the whole thing's been a war crime. To the pictures. This is um, on the highway, Zodomir, I believe it's called. So we're going to look at uh, a few different pictures. A couple of uh, gentlemen who died. Uh, they're trying to put them in body bags. Again, just leaving them at the side of the street. You can just see civilians trying to figure this whole thing out. Um, this is the same highway, Zodomir, which I believe is like the main thoroughfare out of Kiev. And so the pictures you're seeing are of Ukrainians that tried to flee that tried to leave Kiev, tried to leave Irpin, tried to leave Buka, and we're driving on Zodomir Highway, from what I understand. So there's that picture. Um, <clears throat> again, some of these are going to be incredibly graphic. This is another picture of someone inside a tank. They drove over this human being uh, with a tank, just left them there. Uh, this is another picture of <clears throat> what is a headless woman. And uh, according to locals, this woman was Jesus in her car uh, with her family. Two, three women were in this car, grandmother, mother, and a daughter. The mother and the, and the daughter were shot. The grandmother was beheaded. Um, not just that. I mean, these are people just side of the road. You can see these beautiful children uh, for a bike ride with their dad and literally bodies just laying in the gutter, laying in the ditch. Uh, some of these pictures are also very fucking hard to watch. A little doll sitting at the bottom of a car full of bullet holes. Again, this is Zodomir, um, just outside of Kiev, and uh, it gets worse, uh, as if it it can't. Um, again, don't look if you can't. These are people trying to get out of their car. These Holy are people that were fuck. legitimately trying to leave. They were trying to flee, and these this is these are the remnants. This is the disaster that the Russian troops have left behind. They systematically shot, killed, blew up, raped, attacked, looted stole from every single person trying to get out of the danger zone. Uh, again, this is another video of it. You can see miles of cars that have been absolutely decimated. Some of the, I think again, I've seen that one. I thought, yeah. I, I think I saw that one. This one bothers me a great deal. This is one gentleman who people just keep driving by. I mean, you know, people just, what are you going to the side what are you of the road. Do though? I don't know. Like I, I wouldn't know what to do. Like, I don't know. Do you get um, out? I mean, maybe they're maybe they're leaving him there as, uh, you know, to. I don't know. This young lady with uh, car keys. She's she's been killed. Left. They mined a lot of these bodies too, Chris. Uh, and I didn't know what that meant when it called mine bodies. But they literally put landmines and attached so them to the, these humans. They'll booby trap them. That's not a new tactic. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um. Notice, too, a lot of these pictures is a courtyard behind an apartment building. These are families that are just lying there dead, hands bound behind their backs. A lot of these people were shot in the back of the head at close range. It's another fellow that just was shot riding his bike, uh, left there to die, and was killed. These are people that are showed up to work at a factory. They all got bound, gagged, and shot before the Russians left. This is a guy that Seeing just was going to get the, some the potatoes. Bound, the bound shit. Yeah. Like, yeah there's, so there's, there's quite a few pictures. Yeah. You know what? That that is so. There's three pieces to this. One that is the, the Russian military has completely dehumanized the Ukrainian people. Um, you have acts of desperation because they they're not winning. You have 
direct orders to to absolutely terrorize the population in an effort to break their will. So they they're, they're allowing civilians to be open targets. Yeah, which which is fucking deplorable. It's absolutely deplorable, mm -hmm. and because Putin thought he was going to roll in, and people he literally thought he was going to be greeted with flowers. This is a this this is from multiple news sources, and and they were not going to stand up against them. So now he's like, we need to break their will. So he's just made it, just fucking shoot everybody. Can, can you go back to that one, Dean? one before this this one here the story behind this is that's a mayor of one of the cities um she was uh captured by russians and her husband begged the russians to let him go with her to go be interrogated that's the head of her son um that you see in the background that's all that is there he was he was also yeah, that's um, the family that's right them there. there yeah, yeah thanks yeah. yeah and i wasn't sure if we knew the if you guys knew the backstory about that one but this is she was the mayor of a town and her husband literally probably could have survived, but wouldn't let his wife go without him. So. Yeah. So they killed the whole family. And yeah. when they killed the whole family, they just buried him here. And that's yeah. him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, these these are mass graves, too. They're like a forty couple of 45 meter long mass graves that people are just kind of slowly tossed. That picture into. was on CNN yesterday. <clears throat> dumped down manholes, uh, just murdered, hung, dumped, dumped down manholes. Yeah, that was on CNN yesterday, too. I mean, it yeah. is the the videos. um or something as well. And I'm going to play you one from a guy named Alexei Garchenko. He's a Ukrainian MP. And this is him in front of that car with the headless grandmother kind of explaining everything. And this is what he's doing to document the international uh, for the international criminal courts. And, the and that's what Alex has moved into is, now. Yeah, this is what yeah. Alex does now on a daily Holy basis. But this fuck. is uh, MP Garchenko. Gonerchenko, MP. MP. Yeah, no, he's on the show tomorrow. Uh, we were talking all, all day today. So this is uh, this is him talking about it. Have a watch. We are in Bucha, uh, and you can see the car which with the family which tried to escape from here. And Russian troops just attacked this car, and the result is next. There were three people inside, three women, a girl, her mother, and her grandmother. And you can see inside the car, the body of grandmother without head. It's awful. Uh, the daughter is, was wounded, and uh, but she will be okay. But watch at this war crime of Russians. That's a real genocide. Russians should pay for these war crimes. Yeah. So... Oh, damn it. Chris, Army Chris, 25-year combat veteran, super familiar with uh, what a war crime looks like. We've just looked at a couple dozen pictures, uh, all authentic, all 100% real, all of these deaths ca caused by uh, Russian soldiers uh, that were told to go in, rape, pillage, murder. Is this genocide or are these war crimes? So let's let's define genocide amongst ourselves here because I'm not a fucking lawyer. Genocide is the deliberate, systematic eradication of a race or group of people in my mind. I believe that the Russian people or the Russians think that the Ukraine's a natural extension of Russia and it was never intended as genocide by definition. We're talking genocide. You look at World War II Germany, Eradication of the Jews is part of Hitler's propaganda campaign to, to have a scapegoat to get to power. You talk about uh, Iraq's, you know, killing of 135,000 Kurds in the late 80s. You talk about Rwanda 1994, where the, uh, the Hutu rebels killed upwards of 800,000 Tutsis. And you look at... Bosnia, 1995, Srebrenica, where 8,000 Bosnian Muslims were killed by Bosnian Serbs. And, you know, that that to me is genocide. This to me is absolute acts of desperation in order to terrorize the uh, the Ukrainian people to break their will so that they, 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 they plead for uh, Zelensky to surrender or, you know, come to the table. And it's an inability to process them because they're logistically stretched so thin they can the Russians can barely feed themselves, fuel themselves. They have no means to to, to manage quote unquote prisoners of war, which civilians aren't anyway. 
It's a terror campaign. It's a complete disregard for human life. It breaks all the international agreed upon laws as part of the Geneva Conventions. And it's a fucking 100% war crimes. But I, I wouldn't call it genocide because I honestly don't believe that that's the intent. It, it's a terror campaign. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. After look, Was that hard to look at those pictures? Uh, yeah, it brings back some kind of shitty memories of I've, I've seen mass graves in Bosnia. I've, I've seen innocents collaterally killed in Afghanistan or deliberately targeted um, by, by, by insurgents. So that's tough. Um, it, it, fuck. it hurts, man, because, you know, you, you really want to believe that we're evolving as human beings. But when it comes to war fighting, we're not. You know, it, it's it's happened on every side. The Americans, prior to nuclear bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, which killed 135,000 people once they found out Tokyo was made out of wood, they firebombed it, killed 100,000 civilians. So, you know, it, this is not new, and this is never going to change. It, it just... It's tough as the Western world sits by and lets this fucking insane tyrant bully continue this 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 campaign while Ukraine's dog paddling. You know, we talk about sanctions and sanctions and sanctions. You know what people in the Ukraine re need right now? Not sanctions. They need fucking weapons and support. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough to look at that. It always is. Is it? it yeah, I saw you get up. Right. So you get up and leave, get your dog. Uh, you've seen all this. Like this yep. is not 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 unfamiliar to you um, as someone who has fought on behalf of his country, as someone that has seen atrocities firsthand, as someone who's still affected by them. Um, you know, what is going on in Ukraine and the lack of effort on behalf of the West um, as someone who has fought for the West and fought for its allies? Um, how do you process this? Like, or, or do you just try to look away from, and I'm, by the way, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't no. mean to upset you. People need to see what you just showed. Okay. People need, if you get, if you get, if that shit gets pulled because it's too graphic or you know what, everybody in the world needs to, to understand this is what happens in real life and in, in, in warfare is, is sad and disgusting as it, it, it is. Um, they need to see it. You need to see what's happening over there. And I appreciate Alex's efforts to get this information out there. Um, it, it's this is real. I think and, that's why. I think that's why he's doing it because he wants he yeah. wants people to see it. And I think what ends up happening is we become numb to this news as as a, as a whole. And so news agencies spend a lot of time overthinking how to present it, right? Because everyone's always hyper aware of how many eyes or ears you have on something. There's too many conversations behind the scenes about how do we keep them to the next 15 minute segment? Um, have we done too much on this one? Have we done, are people getting sick of the Ukraine war? You, you, you know, and then what ends up happening is then we, we sort of dilute those messages by making sure we show a picture with just the arm showing right or we um you know or we cut to a, a um a, a, another story about the oscars because well hey everybody wants to hear about what's going to happen to will smith for for slapping chris rock and it's easier right. for us to digest than than uh Good than camera. pictures like this right um so um i I I have to take breaks from from the news. I've been trying to keep updated. I get up every morning and check Alex's Twitter. I think Lynn's put his Twitter up in our comments section, so give him a follow if you're on Twitter. And mm -hmm. um and and I just I want to see that he's okay. And uh, clearly he he's is. not going to be okay though if, if he's he doing what he's doing. No, he, he's he's all right. I talked to him a few times today uh, in, in the middle of the night. Uh, spoke with him a couple of times. He's shook, man. I mean, you know, you can't not yeah. be right. He, and this is just a little thing of our text. He said after seeing these videos, 
and photos. My wife couldn't stand it anymore. She said she'd go crazy, so we decided she would stop reading the news for the rest of the day. I'd go for a walk with the baby. She'd do some routine stuff at home with relaxing music. He says that's too much. This is a real massacre. Women yeah, raped it, next it, to their dead husband with a four-year-old and kid in another room. Off. Teenage girls with torn vaginas. Civilians' cars shot with machine guns from armored carriers. I mean, sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to interrupt you. This is what pisses you off? Well, it's the Western rhetoric of, of you hear that fucking limp noodle in a, in a, in a forest of redwoods, tr Justin Trudeau, saying, you know, these people will be held to account. And, the, and Biden says they'll be held to account. Well, well fucking when's that? How long is this? How long are you gonna sit by and, and and keep saying that shit? It's been decades. It's been since 1999. We've been watching Putin get away with this. Right? Chechnya, uh, Syria, uh, Grozny. Grozny was deemed the world's most destroyed city on the planet yeah. by the U.S. Until the US. until until the Mary until the. Maripol. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, what are you going to keep? You're going to keep writing but, stern letters while the people yeah. of Ukraine are fucking systematically slaughtered during it as part of a terror campaign? You know what, though, exactly. uh, exactly. Chris? I, th I I think the we're doing something right, and I I was talking about this this morning on the show about where we're at as a society, and and why this is so front and center this time around. Like, Lynn's just rattled off three or four. Russian occupations and not one of us outside of lens probably because he's wired like this. We could, I couldn't tell you the years of these campaigns. I couldn't tell you how long they lasted. I couldn't tell you like, no, because I no one talks about them, right? Well, like, I'll, I'll, like, I'll give you an example of something that worked fine. So I, I talked about Bosnia and Srebrenica Sre in, in 1995. Hmm. So unperformed the United Nations protection force is a failed fucking operation to bring peace to the Balkans. So Dayton Accord 97, fuck you. Americans came in, they bombed Serbia to their fucking knees and got Slobodan Milosevic and his cronies to the war crimes tribunal. So that's what you need to do. At some point, the Western leadership needs to stop going, they'll be held to account and fucking act. Mm -hmm. Well, because this is not going to stop. As soon as Russia feels... Well, they're already feeling it that they're not winning. So part of their withdrawal is a they're logistically fucked and they need to reconstitute. And they're just gonna fucking scorched earth everything, people and property on well, their that's way what they're back. doing. Well, that's what they're yeah. doing. Isn't that what happened in Puka? I mean, those are the videos that we saw. These exactly are exactly the what happened. This is yeah. what they did. They went around and threw fucking human beings into wells after they hung them and shot them like this, like this fucking picture. They went around and burned people, burned people, specifically women that they raped so that nobody could identify them after not just burn people, whole fucking families, people like literally running for their lives with their fucking car keys in their hands. And we're sitting here as a country going, we're here to help go fuck yourself. Trudeau can go fuck himself. The West can go fuck themselves. This is happening right now to our friends. Why, to why is beings. it so much you're not more doing anything? You're just sending in more shit that they could use. Fucking carpet bomb Bolagrod. Go in after him. Fucking sanction the sanctions for fuck's sakes. This isn't normal. This isn't right. And we've got a guy here who's had to watch it his entire fucking life. And we've got another 40 million people fucking ducking daily as their mm -hmm. people get raped murdered pillaged and their shit gets stolen because we don't care fuck off um well, I, the thing i'm wondering about is why like why this one he's done this countless times why are we we are responding now maybe not the way it need we need to and and dean's right we we you, because this is something needs funnel, to happen dude. ukraine if and i'm not mistaken chris and and Linz, you can back me up if you want or tell me i'm a lie this is a funnel for every dumb fucking thing russia has done over the past several years uh getting trump elected fucking around with the Amer american electorate fucking yeah. around with january 6th if, if, from canada's perspective this is the convoy we're fucking them over in Ukraine because of the convoy. That is why we're taking it seriously, but we're still not taking it seriously enough. To me, it's like, and Chris, you could speak to this better than me, even though it, we're giving the world an impression like, yeah, we're in, we're helping. It, We're not really, right? Like, we're really not because this is still fucking happening, right? 
is it is it lip service are we just trying to look like we give a fuck like all those losers that attach you know a ukrainian flag to every tweet just to look like they give a fuck is that where we're at is that what the government's doing i think so i i I mean i yeah i think so i think the fucking western world has failed that's what i think I, i honestly think the western world does not have the fucking fortitude to say that's enough when you came in and invaded if you stuck to the rules we didn't want to get into a NATO versus the USSR thing because they're all scared of the nuclear option. But as soon as this shit's going on, what time do you put on your big boy pants and go, fuck you, We're, this is I, enough? I, I actually think that Putin took a look at the leadership and, and uh, wasn't scared and went, no. eh, Biden, no, not fucking Justin, scared of Trudeau. I mean, dude, Germany's, his response to that is let's buy a bunch of planes. Boris can't even brush his hair. I'm fucking going into Ukraine. Linz, yeah. you had something you wanted to say? Sorry. Uh, no, Russia Russia has a modus operandi when it comes to these places, and we're seeing it happen again. And it's they go in, they bomb it heavy, they destroy the city, and they, they declare whoever's left over uh, hostile. And uh, that's why you're seeing what you're seeing now. The problem I'm having, and it's it's with, I think Putin realizes he's backed himself into a corner, is because 189,000 new conscripts were just forcibly signed up um, for, for, for the next wave of whatever he's planning. In Russia? Um, Russian army yeah, does? Yeah, yeah. but what, what happens now is he's going against his own laws. Like, he's actually breaking his own Russian constitution or, or charter by doing that because he can't invoke conscripts without declaring his country at war which by the way he has not done at this point he has not declared russia at war with anybody correct they're on a special military operation that's correct which which doesn't allow for conscripts and um so he's breaking his own law essentially not that that fucking matters yeah like he cares about laws yeah which at the end of the day it's an internet I, i guess it could be looked at as an international human rights crime if he's forcing democratically sovereign citizens of Russia in the war to go and fight in fucking his special operations party. Yeah. Uh, so you're not seeing anything being done by the book. I think his plan got thwarted with Trump. I think Trump was part of the plan. I think that whole Western democracy um upset that second term like you think about it in those terms That's, they fellas well, like he t- remember what he said remember what trump trump wanted to dismantle nato in his yeah. second term that was his first thing he was going to do in his second term yeah, yeah. he was going to dismantle nato which then would have paved the road for this to be a no issues problem for for and yeah. america wouldn't would have been hands off this fucked putin's plan because that didn't happen yeah. but putin said fuck it i'm doing it anyway and now we're seeing the ramifications. So I don't think, I don't know why we're not prepared for this. I don't know how we couldn't have been prepared or how we're so surprised that this is happening, even well, though it's the, been the happening since The truth buildup only lasted eight years. <laughs> like, it's been happening since 1999. And the, well, yeah. the, the fir- his first insurgency or his first uh, uh, invasion happened, he was second in fucking command. He wasn't even the president yet. Yeah. And he directed that that operation. So this is not, I, I I'm tired of us pretending this is such a shock because yeah. it's not a shock. Well, it's dude, shocking and, and, he, to and see. he amassed like 200,000 people at the border over an eight year period. Like that war in the East was going on for eight fucking years, Chris, like eight fucking years yep. to, to further the conversation. AP put out a two minute video and I want you to watch. I want everybody to watch this. And the reason why I want you to watch this is very fucking important for the rest of the world to see what's going on. We've shown you pictures we probably shouldn't be showing people, but we're going to do it anyway. This is a video that's widely available. It's not one of those still graphic. So just a heads up, but you have to watch this. This is, this is, this is a collection, not just pictures, like put the video with people talking about what war crimes are. It's two minutes long. Watch this. It's great. Ukraine's defense minister on Sunday accused Russian forces of an array of atrocities. Alexei Reznikov said the crimes came to light after Ukrainian forces moved into cities and towns after the invaders withdrew. This is not a special operation. These are not police actions. These are ordinary racists, fascists, and inhumane who simply committed crimes against civilians. Raped, killed, shot them in the back of the head. The whole world needs to know about this. These images, taken by Reuters witnesses in Bucha, show what appear to be victims in a mass grave and bodies lying in the streets. 
Bucha lies 23 miles northwest of the capital, Kiev, an area Ukrainian troops said they recaptured on Saturday. Bucha's mayor, Anatoly Fedoruk, said on Sunday that 300 residents had been killed during a month-long occupation by the Russian army. Reuters could not immediately verify this. Russia's defense ministry denied the Ukrainian allegations, saying footage and photographs showing dead bodies in Bucha were, quote, yet another provocation by Kiev. It said Russian military units had left Bucha on March 30th and that civilians had been free to move around the town or evacuate while it was under Russian control. But the reports and images of dead civilians brought outraged pro-Ukrainian demonstrators to the streets of Berlin on Sunday. It's horrible. It's not about the war. It's not the war right now. They want to erase the Ukraine as the culture, as the people. And that sentiment echoed across Western capitals. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken described images of dead bodies there as, quote, a punch in the gut. And the foreign ministers of Germany, France and Britain, along with the European Union's foreign policy chief, expressed outrage over the reports from Bucha. So my question is this. Millions of videos, millions of pictures, thousands of people murdered, thousands of people executed. What else do we need? Like, how, how is it even fucking possible to hold this cock accountable, Chris? Well, I'd start with Belarus and squeeze those fuckers out of the equation to allow to come. <laughs> like, that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. I it would, would be something, in. right? Like, um, uh, and th- <sighs> the problem is, is no one wants this to go nuclear. And I, I, I know that that's, that's, that's might be weak sauce right now, but I, I think I think we're at a point now where uh, I think you guys are right. I, I think everyone has to take a look at themselves in the mirror um, internationally here, country to country, and go. All right, time to go. We got to fucking do something. And, and we got to lock down that airspace, and um, and we got to fucking push him back into his own country and we gotta trap we'll deal every with- single one that's in that country, and we need to fuck them up. And, and Russia needs to overthrow that fucker and get rid of him. Like, just, yeah. To be honest and, with you, uh, this, this will go on forever. Like, if they pull back to the east, like they're saying, they're just going to reinforce that eastern chunk. Yeah. But even if they say, hypothetically speaking, they reach a deal with Zelensky to end the war where they annex a bunch of that shit in the red on the map that they're, they're in, in eastern Ukraine with, with pro Russia supporters there, wait five years. He's going to want more and more and more. This doesn't end. This doesn't end till that guy is gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, to, someone to, needs to, to put a, a hand grenade up his ass. Yeah. To Chris's point, they have to stop. We got to stop with like watching the media. When Joe Biden was up and said, he, he said what he said. He said, uh, you know, they need a regime change in there. They got to get this guy out. And yeah. everybody clutched their fucking pearls. Yeah, oh, oh, can he say that? Right? How can he say that? You're not allowed to say he's a democratically or fucking yeah. elected. Yeah, yeah, but there's some history shot. there, Linz. Everyone's it, it, it's, it it, listen, whenever matter. the United States has said that and tried to do something, they've made each and every one of those situations worse and they've never left one of those situations in a better place than when they went in. And I think that's the problem the world has when you're looking at accountability from the West's point of view. I know, but and I think that's properly. part of the, re- and hold on, I'm sorry, let me finish. I think that's part of the reason why they haven't gone in yet, because we can't trust ourselves to do the right thing in these situations. Mm-hmm. Um, the pic- and I the think- The pictures that Dean just put up, absolutely 100% qualify Biden's statements. And all his fucking little bitches. He's not that- wrong, Chris, but that's, you I understand know, what I'm saying? Not. We all, have to all, take a look is- inward here and go, there you go. okay, we and keep fucking these came things out up. And doctored his statement after, well, it's not what he meant. Blah. No, that's exactly what he fucking meant. Everyone's that thinking guy's it. gotta go. Okay, so so instead of having arguments on on talking head fucking panelists showing up for days on and days debating if he should have or shouldn't have said that, who fucking cares? It, he, right. it, we all know it has, should be a thing. He he has to go one way or another, be yeah. it by fucking force or by whatever democracy they pretend to have. He's got to go. It's the problem with our. Our, our news outlets too. Yeah. And, yeah, and, you're and, right. You know, it, and I was laughing before we started this, right? And I'll tell you why I was laughing because 
it was it was and it wasn't like ha 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 that kind of laugh it was like oh my god we have these pictures right we showed you all these pictures we've got hundreds more videos we're going to be putting them out i promised alex i said i promise you i will get these out i promise you all he so wants is to. people to see this just shit. this is what's it. fucking happening and and i need i need people that i i know i can trust he's on right. cnn and then he's but coming they won't, on our but podcast. they won't put it out either they so won't. i said i promise you i'm going to put these out and uh he said thank you thank you for for putting these out so we put out I don't know that this post this morning, you can go look at it. It's at DeanBlundell.com with a Did bunch of these pictures. yet? No, nope, still up. That's all right. Um, but it's up. And and after no, I but, put it up, I got Dave, inundated Dave with several complaints from media people saying, I, like people that work no, for mainstream didn't. media, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. bring them up. Holy uh, probably fuck. four or five. Um, I haven't looked for about an hour and a half. For me, people going, that's too graphic. You can't put that up. You can't do that. How are, how, why are you? It doing is it? awful. It's fucking and, awful. And then I and I told them all the same thing. Fuck, go fuck yourself. And then after that, I got a note back from one of them saying, "Can you just send me a couple of those pictures so we can use them?" Right. No word of a lie. Like, let, and, let me ask you guys something. <laughs> What's too graphic? Well, hang on. Did you did you send any? Because that no. would have been. Oh well, I was gonna say as as much as stupid as that was of them to fucking start the conversation that way. Yeah, you would be doing Alex a favor by sending them. So I send them to other people. I, I, I love that. I love send the, the ones that don't bitch. Too fucking graphic. The yeah. truth is too graphic. We got to cut back to Chris Rock's fucking comments on the slap. Yeah, you know, Jim Carrey's retiring from fucking work <laughs> because that's too graphic. Truth is too graphic. You know, fucking, that's they closed the McDonald's problem. in Russia, so that's fucking got to be some success. I don't know. Too graphic, my fucking ass. People need to see this shit for real. So good on you, Dean, for putting this out there. Oh, it's not me, man. I, I, bet, take, I take no, no credit for it. I, I think, listen, the, the, the credit I'm goes to someone like Alex. Right now. The, his credit goes to someone like Alex that has to do this for a living because, and, and it's there not even for a living. It feels like he needs to do it. Like, you know, the, the, the terribleness that you were subjected to, Chris, as part of your 25 years and cleaning up different countries and going around and doing what you did. Um, that it, And these are all very familiar pictures to you. You've seen them all firsthand in your life. This guy's willingly doing it. He's willingly getting up in the morning. He's willingly going to these places, collecting these pictures, whether he's taking Fuck. them, and he's getting inundated with them willingly on a daily basis, right? And, and, and to that point, to that point, for everybody watching, listening, whatever, or hear it later, he's risking his fucking life that too, yeah. something that you might think is too graphic because you don't want your fucking feelings hurt or whatever. He's risking his life to gather this information to show the world what is actually really happening there. Mm -hmm. so Something tells me not, that it's not too graphic. No, oh, none of this is too graphic. Like this, th what we're doing today is showing you the truth. That's it. We're just showing you the truth. We're not sensationalizing it. We're doing something that no one else will do because no one else is in it for the same reasons that we're in it for. Not one person. Not exactly. one organization. They're in it to get you to watch it. I'm in it to get you to look at the truth. That's mm -hmm. the truth. This is the truth. You want the fucking truth? This is what's happening in Ukraine. See this little girl who's been bound and gagged? Can't be more than five, dead, naked. She was murdered. That's her dad. That's her sister. That's her mom. All of them murdered. All of them bound. All of them hung by Russian uh, occupiers of Ukraine. All of them. Not the only ones. We've showed you a ton of other pictures. So mainstream media, do your fucking jobs. Do your fucking jobs. Do your jobs for fuck's we had sake. A yep. Text today when we were talking about Ukraine and uh it was an unknown number. We have a system and it comes in and, and if we've communicated with you before, we may have put your name in there. Army Chris texts the show. It comes up. Army Chris. And um, so this guy texts and and he's, you guys haven't got a fucking clue what's going on in Ukraine. And I'm, I'm like looking at the time. We got to talk after quiet riot. I got four minutes and 29 seconds. I'm like, Jimmy, give me the number. Let's find out what we're missing. Do, 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 do. To his credit, he picks up. 
I'm not going to give you his name because he felt like somebody that might complain to my bosses about how I treated him. <laughs> and um, he's like, why are you calling me? I'm like, I just want to know what we're missing. What are we missing? And uh, he goes, how much time have you got? This is going to take hours. And I'm like, I got three minutes and 39 seconds left. <laughs> Can you give me the Coles notes? He says, you go fuck yourselves. You're not going to believe it anyway. Yeah. It's all bullshit. And then he signs off with God bless. Ah, there it is. That's nice, isn't it? There it is. Unfortunately, we're dealing with dummies. Well, we're Angry dealing with dummies. We're dealing with a, a population that has been, that has zero faith in authorities in media, can I'm dealing you with what's that? Sorry, can I play you something to further yeah. your point? Yeah. So, we're talking about these guys, like all that was going on all weekend long. This has been going on for 39 days, right? Yeah, murder, genocide, torture, children, rape, everything, all of it been going on. Yeah. I showed you these fucking terrible pictures, truths, these are truths, right? They're still protesting in this country, no mandates, no restrictions. I and I've come up with hold... a new manifesto, and Didn't I'm going to share Kenny it with you. Say it, COVID was over. It's, oh, yeah. it's over they in Alberta. Said, Ford said it. Dor- yeah, Doug Ford did too. Everybody it doesn't COVID. exist anymore. Jimmy no. dry humped half of Edmonton on the weekend. <laughs> My son's home with it right now. As a matter Dar- of fact, Second Darth time. Brooks. Yeah. Best summer too is coming up. Yeah, big time. By the hat set. There. But this 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 happened in uh, this happened in Toronto. This is Kareem. So while this is going on, these people are fighting for their freedom. Watch this. We, the people of Canada, are pro-freedom, pro-life, pro-God, pro-family, pro-righteousness, and most importantly, pro-Jesus Christ first. Abortion is a modern holocaust. This is like fucking this week? That's That's yesterday. yesterday. That's yesterday. That's yesterday. Oh, not done. Not done. Here's another one. You got the brain tumor? Does she not know she can go back to Applebee's now? Nobody's told her. What a bitch. What a dumb bitch. The what did brain, I say? The vaccine gave me a brain tumor. Listen, this, this is this weekend. What a dumb First of all, the vaccine love- didn't give her a brain tumor. Uh, her 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 life gave her a brain tumor. And yeah. the second thing I, I want to say this is that my God, I hope she has one. Uh, I anyway, so I, do I, too. I, I I don't understand. I do you guys remember maybe five ten years ago when yeah. somebody and it, they didn't have to be famous. Anybody in the world got caught pretending to have cancer. Yeah. The fucking world exploded. Media was on them. Why are you faking having cancer? I do remember what is, this. Yeah. Remember, you know, remember how that... Now we just... Hey, whatever. I have a brain tumor from a vaccine. Oh, okay. No problem. It was, a, it was a thing. You're right, remember? Lens. And, and remember, people yeah. were doing it on... It, you know what it was? It was social media kind of got a toehold. Yeah. And then everybody had it. And then people started doing... Uh, fake charity events and stuff like that, trying yeah. to raise money oh, yeah. for hospital yeah. bills. Everybody did. This is the same, the same thing this anti-vaxxer dumb bitch is and, doing right now. Yeah. See, look at this. Yeah, look, she's got a brain tumor. The vaccine gave me a brain tumor. Here's to hoping. The vaccine gave me a brain tumor. Here's to praying. Yeah, good. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for uh, them all to go. I, the vaccine gave me fucking PTSD. That's next, because that's the I new back pain yeah. of the 80s. Everybody <laughs> and his dogs got PTSD. <laughs> I said, replace the word vaccine with internet and tumor yeah. with damage. And this video makes all the sense. I put that as a tweet out. 
<laughs> this, the, this internet gave me brain damage is what she should be saying. The internet yeah. is damaged. Well, and, 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 and one more video before I get to my manifesto. So I, I want to play this for you because this was like, cause I've had it. Like I had an epiphany this weekend. Not only was I leafing through some of the worst uh, war crime pictures you will ever see um, for perspective and, and uh, terrible negativity and all that stuff. But I came to a higher realization this weekend. It's like the high mindedness of myself really came through. <laughs> and I'll tell you what happened is I'm going to play this video for you. You've seen the other two videos of the dummies, the dumb fucks, right? These are the dumb fucks. These are this, and every society has had them for thousands of years. Groups of the dumb fucks travel in dumb fuck groups. This is just our dumb fuck group of 2022. Uh, but I want you to listen very carefully to this guy who is protesting because he thinks people should be able to walk around outside uh, and breathe fresh air while he's walking around outside breathing, breathing fresh, fresh air. air. My message yeah. is less restrictions for the public and so we can get out and enjoy the fresh air. And I want to know, really, I say uh, no uh, mandated by the government uh, needle yeah. needle clinics. Yeah. 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 They, they do the literally join the fresh the air. Drugs, so yeah. opiates and all that. Well, we don't need more opiates. drugs, especially for the children, because it doesn't drugs. save old people with comorbidities. Oh, that's just a fact of nature. That's just a fact, fact of, of nature. nature. Fact of we nature. We don't need right more there. drugs for kids. That's just a fact of nature. That that's is Ricky. Dumb as fuck. They could so have. I, I was just gonna say that Ryan, that Ricky could have walked down and yep, fucking did the exact same skit. <laughs> Best summer. You gotta ever. get a second, second. hat, Lince. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna need another one. Let me send yes. you my eighty bucks or whatever it costs for shipping. It, listen, I got a new. St <laughs> it's all new. Stop your bitching. Yeah, we'll get to that. We got a merch store, and Locke's been in charge of that. But I, I want to give you guys my new manifesto. Okay. Let, let, let her roll. Be before okay. you before you go just yep. any everybody that's stuck with us thank you so much i'm glad everybody got to see that this is where the the tsn turning point of the show is coming back so if you're gonna we're gonna get a little happier now just well, you don't know yeah. that i do i you know you made all that up. i love you you just made it. all that up in your head yeah. you're he's like still, i need to get in here about... we gotta make something up and sound cool for a sec you don't know that i'm gonna be positive i might be I'm a huge asshole to... for the next Ryan 45 minutes he's still upset me. about his shitty oh. crab dip so we need to... it's yeah. true he's still upset that he i've had a horrible couple, couple of days whiz. okay you think <laughs> anyway make the joke i can't do you it. fought the bus boy <laughs> yeah he did got angry at the bus boy at a pub oh that's Dude, Argo, that, fuck your it soul. was a girl, and she right, actually right, right. was mad. But go on, okay. yeah, sorry. Okay, okay, yeah. no problem. She's throwing plates and shit. Yeah. Here's my new thing. I have a new manifesto. It's called GFY. That's how I am operating under every pandemic auspice. GFY. 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 Now, you're probably sitting there watching this podcast on YouTube, Dean Blundell Show, subscribe. Twitch, Dean Blundell TV. Or you're listening to this in your car going, what is the GFY manifesto? Very simple. It's the go fuck yourself slash good for you perspective that I'm now taking. That works both it. ways. Absolutely it does. Yeah, now let me, let me break this down for you guys, and I'm happy to do it. Over the past two years, you've had to be on either one side or the other, right? You're either pro-vaccine, pro-mandates, pro-mask, or you're insane and dumb. So, I hate the crazies that are screaming at us to wear masks all the time and making you feel like shit if you forget yours at home and really want this thing to continue because they found some fucking notoriety on Twitter as the guy or the girl. I equally hate these dumb fucks that march every weekend and go, Jesus Christ gave me my vaccine anally. By the way, if Jesus Christ cannot be your vaccine, because I'm pretty sure that dude had hepatitis. So if you are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, he banged hookers, you, dude. You've got hep. He, Mary Magdalene just gave it to her. Oh, pretty, sh And she was a prostitute. So I guarantee oh, he probably had hepatitis. Lot, anyway, we had a conversation all weekend about this. Guaranteed hepatitis. <laughs> Jesus Christ had hepatitis. Or herpes, one of the two. Probably chlamydia. I don't know what, what like early Christian herpetitis. chlamydia looks like. But it's probably not great. Let's back up. <laughs> 
let's back up. The GFY manifesto. It's very every simple. Religion on the planet, but let's back up. I don't care. Don't care. <laughs> um, and the reason why it has two meanings is very simple. Because sometimes you want to go soft, sometimes you want to go hard. But go fuck yourself means this: you are going to wear a mask when you want. You're going to advocate for other people around you, but you don't have to tell people about it. In fact, you don't have to get involved in a conversation. All you have to do if someone comes up to you and says, hey, where's your mask? Or, hey, why are you wearing a mask? You just got to say this. GFY. GFY. Which GFY do you want to use? Good for you or go fuck yourself? Great question. It entirely matters on the person that's in your face, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's on Twitter... And someone's like, how dare you do this? I think that's a go fuck yourself, GFY. But if someone is like, I'm masking for my family or I'm not masking because I don't believe in it, it's just a good for you. It's a GFY, good for you. It's not However, for yogurt, so. I have I yet, thought. thank you. I have yet to do the nice GFY. So far, I'm like 30 for 30 on the go fuck yourself I GFY. I was going to say, you'll never use the second it's one. It's good to have Me options, you. right? I find. So you've got well, me, that one queued up yes. and ready to go. I, I'm yeah. a big fan of this. Lacking this is tough. actually. So you don't have to be on any side, right? Like know, you do not have to be on a side of like me. someone who's vaccinated. You don't have to be on the side of some loser who isn't. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be on either extreme. You can just say to someone where they're like, hey, what do you think about this? Good for you. But or, that seems, it feels interoperable yourself. because it seems like if I go, well, good for you, that also means go yeah. fuck yourself. Yes, it does. Depends and on you the tone. It all the time. The tone, it's all in exactly. the tone, right? Good. Tone is important here. Good for oh, you. Good, good for you. you. Somebody that actually mentioned means go fuck yourself. Church, <laughs> church of GFI, GFY, the Church the of church GFY. I'm a member yeah. of the Church of GFY. Dude, like that. we're killing it in the comment section. Everybody's like, "I'm on Team GFY. Go mm -hmm. fuck yourself." Or yeah. good for you. You that's gotta get first shirt, shirt made. GFY DM Dude, Del send it to Scotty. Oh, that's our first shirt right now. Scotty, GFY. Guys, that's the new guys. manifesto. You know what it does too? Up. Here's the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing, boys. You, you haven't thought about this, but because I'm very smart. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. No, guys. Guys, guys. Because, sit down. because all I think about is ways to fuck over people I don't like when I'm not working. This is a perfect way to do While it. While you're working. Too. You can separate yourself from the rest of the sheep in both dumb flocks. And what you can do is just do your own thing. And when someone gets mad at you, hashtag GFY butts. Go fuck yourself or good for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good for you. That feels like go fuck yourself. Uh, they're all go fuck yourselves, man. <laughs> all of them. Every time I say it, it's go you know fuck yourself. Let me ask you guys something point blank, straight up. Please. Yes, right. Would Chris. you rather have somebody say go fuck yourself or the condescending version of good for you? Because I'd be more I'm, mad. I'm go full on go fuck you. yourself. Yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I don't know well, why. The, the good for you is like you know when you do it in like that demeaning, talking down, sarcastic exactly. way. It's poison. Yeah, it's like this. So, Locke, let's do a little cutting. role playing. Yeah. You're, okay. uh Let's just say you're one of those uh, cunts. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Okay, <laughs> which he was on Friday night, by the yeah, way. Yeah. So I, I am that. wearing a mask. Let's just pretend you're an Albertan. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you're upset with me, and we're, I'm walking, and in we're in a store. we're in a liquor, liquor store. store. Yeah, liquor yeah, yeah. Store, and of I'm in front of you, and I've got my 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 emergency I'm pack. I'm buying. You're in, a, you're I'm in buying USA. If you're you're in standing behind me, and I'm wearing gonna turn a yellow around vest. and go, "Hey, Correct. you know you don't yeah. have to wear that mask anymore, eh? Oh. Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> I I like now it. now hold it hold, it, hold like it. it. Here's the other thing. I, now I want you to say, dude. Now I'm not wearing a mask in the liquor store. You are. Now okay. I want you to tell me that you're wearing a mask and why. Go ahead. Here we go. Hey, listen, dude. I yes. don't feel safe around you. I wish you would have worn your mask. You're wearing yours, right? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> 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 That's worse. I'd be more mad. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know why. No. I've been trying to get I'd rather get punched in the face than have someone say good for you. I really yeah. Me too. Oh my god. Yeah. You know what? I said this last week. 
Yeah. We and I can't figure out what it is. I will. T- I would rather somebody come in and tell me to my face. They yep. think I'm the biggest fucking asshole on the planet. They 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 wish daily for me to die. Then get the passive aggressive email. Bingo. You guys I need don't to do know. a poll. Get a poll going. What do you What do you like worse, or what's worse, good for you, or go fuck yourself? But you know what? We don't actually. Do you guys because want white it text on a black matter. shirt? It doesn't matter. The only thing we have to do is get shirts made that say this. Hold on. Yeah, you got Hey, we have a discussion going on here quickly about the shirt. It'll be up right away. I'm a proud member of the Church of GFY. GFY. DeanBlundell.com. Check it out. Do you Church want Church of GFY? Yeah, I'm a proud I'm member of the Church right of GFY, or is yep. it tighter? No, Do, no, no, just GFY. Hashtag GFY. That's all I want because Hashtag, you can okay. fill in the rest of the blanks, right? Do you want shirts? You want don't have white tone. text on a black shirt? Don't yeah. care. Sure. White, okay. Whatever. Yes. White. Yeah. Black shirts. They That's ask all I want. Black shirts. If Go they ask any more yourself. questions. Tell them GFY. Now Get here's just here's the we key. don't we don't wear what? white shirts in Alberta. The mustard shows this. up too much, so we're going black. Yeah, so do the pit sweat stains. That um, too. Here's the thing: is that we also have a bit of an announcement to make here. We don't. The Dean need... Blundell shop will be up next week. Yeah. No, it's going to be up tonight. We can it's get this be up tonight. tonight. We can do this tonight. I think we can because you gave him everything he needs. He's got everything the he email needs. address and all that. He's just. We might be selling the up. "Go Fuck Yourself" shirts. Sorry, I mean the "Good for You" shirts. Good tonight. for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good okay, let's all you. let's all good go around you. the horn and say got, good for up. you and who can say it better. Okay. Okay. You want to do? Need, we need we'll people to Lynch. judge in the comments who says good for you better out of the four of us. All Great right, question. Lens, you start. Good for you. That's so <laughs> good for you. That was a great start. You just told okay, someone Army to fuck Chris. off with your Army mouth. Chris. Great job. Chris, go ahead. Yeah. That might be tough to top, but I like the long pause at the front because it gives the, yeah. the, the viewer nice. a minute to think the about how fucking of caring. stupid they are. Yeah. His mind's pretty much... Yeah, good for you. <laughs> that's, that's not horrible. You had the nod there. That's okay, dismissive. Go, that dismissive I'll, look I'll away. I'll go too. next. Yeah, okay, yeah you dismissive go. Your turn. Okay. Your turn. All right. Okay. Good for you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm angry already. It's got the man, <laughs> Charles Manson already. eyes going. Yeah, like I want to punch you in the dick right now. <laughs> you look like a crazy clown. Why? With Just that fucking goatee, the yeah. smile. Am I winning? Oh Am I winning? You gotta you put it ready? in the comments. Section. I don't. I, I like Lynn's. I think. Uh, yeah. Who's Better it? Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's still in the lead. Okay. You guys right. ready? Army Chris Ryan's has got, got a couple. Right, Hang I'll on. I'll put it up as a poll inside the chat. Hang on. Let me. I have to. Hang on, my turn. You ready? <laughs> Hang on, I, I gotta engineer this a little bit. You ready? Here we go. You ready? Good for you. Oh, fuck off. That's oh, cheating. No. He has the He's got technology on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Fuck you guys. Tilt. I like the head tilt. <laughs> yeah, the head good. tilt that was, was solid. Good. Yeah. yeah. I think it's. Right. I think it's Ryan still. I think it's Hang Lynn. On. No, uh, Army Chris, Ryan. Oh fuck, this uh, is I'm hard. I'm putting a, I'm putting a poll up I'm in the chat. They can vote in. Okay. The poll we can do that. It when it's oh yeah, I just did we it. We can do that. There it goes. <laughs> I didn't know that. Where we do just you see figured it? this out. Where do you see the you poll? You can't see chat? it on the uh, restream, but I have YouTube running on the side oh. as the administrator from the ah. Dean Lundell show. Hey, so Army I can Chris, actually no idea what he's talking about. Or <laughs> on YouTube? Yeah. What? Wait. What channel's the YouTube I'm on? I'm podcasting? Is that like my face? <laughs> hey, speaking of tech, boys. Uh, by the way, we're going to get these shirts up by tonight. Locke's working on it now. The, the hashtag GFY shirts. It's a beautiful thing. We're going to change the world. I swear to God, we're going to change the world. One hashtag, one shirt at a time. And they'll be super cheap, too, because Locke <laughs> makes sure that when we are setting up the merch store, he's like, I can't charge people more than 20 bucks for a shirt. Fuck. They're not going to buy. All of a sudden, boom, they're going to buy these shirts, and you're going to wish yeah. you would have priced them at like 40 bucks because this is not about the price. This is about the statement that we're trying to make around the world, which is go fuck yourself. And when, it's, tell you really, about $120 when it's really hot, I've ever had, though. 
When it's yeah. really hot out, you want to wear anything that Lock gets produced because it's the thinnest, cheapest fucking shirt you <laughs> no! can possibly get. We no, have changed Army it all. Chris. We it's changed it all. we've changed it all. Didn't you hear our announcement this morning? Yeah. We hey, got a way. My crew's we got a, FM shirt yeah, is good. like it's good stuff. New. Yeah, we have a good better stuff. supplier, and we've got better merch, and it's cheaper because we've taken control over it. Don't um, shit talk the new merch. The new merch so, is going to be good. Plus, we're going to get an Army Chris store up. I have we're a question for you. Army Chris store up. I have a question yeah. for you. We're yeah, telling we people where to. to go buy the shirt, but I don't think we have the functionality up yet. So, no, not yet. It'll be up. We can um, buy it tonight. Yeah, I think you just needed to get him a email address. Not that we need to do this on the air, but um, we needed yeah, to get like him an, some information, I got it all. I got and it you all. sent it's it to him. So he just needs to put up. Yeah, the it's first, up to, the it's first up to thing. Scotty and Georgie. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. We'll, yeah, it'll be up. It'll be up in the next. Get, just keep that in mind, folks. We're coming with the merch, and guess what? I might even do a go fuck yourself mug. Yeah, mugs, got, hoodies. We've all got and some good bags. ideas. Tote bags. I think we've got a, a couple of good ones. I want are, the beer. The, I want the, the coffee can. mug for sure. Yeah, I'm getting you a go fuck yourself coffee mug, and <laughs> and it'll be a good for you coffee mug depending on your guest that you're having coffee with, right? <laughs> Claris, uh, two for Claris, one. It's like Claris the Swiss Army knife with comment charms. <laughs> what does she want? Croc charms. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know if we have. Croc Angelo wants colors, that. dude. Everybody's yeah. into it. Yeah. Sell tanks for girls. This is uh, Jennifer Miller. She's like, I'll sell. Fuck, I'll buy the tanks. And then we got this. Scotty dude. just sent me a text. Yeah. He's going to try to get it up tonight. So I'll tell him we want mugs. Mugs. But we got to get people the link to buy it because I don't even think it's on the site yet. Keep an idea. Well, we'll keep an eye on our Twitter. We'll tweet it. We'll tweet it out. Yeah, Dean right. Blundell. Get, Dean Blundell. Get, it's Dean get Blundell. Get one of your, your bloggers to write you about it. time to go grab a beer while you guys are fucking around with this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the commercial's almost over. We're going to have to go back live in a minute, I think. So. There's no commercial. <laughs> we'll get right back. All right. We're talking uh, like drank, a commercial. I already drank two, so. I know you did, bud. I know you did. Anyway. There you go. So my new manifesto. Yeah, so, so I want to encourage everybody to feel the same way. It's not just about selling the merch. We because I just made that up on the fly. No word of a lie. This wasn't something that we planned. Right, Locke? I didn't plan this. Just kind of came together. No, That's how my beautiful mind perfect. works. It's like no, Russell we had no, in that movie. Beautiful I had no mind. idea. I, just, I would be texting Scotty info numbers. about GFY during the yeah. middle of the fucking podcast. Exactly. Uh, mugs, However, tease hoodie. Yeah, I know. Women, the the women want colors too, right? Is that what they yeah. want? Yeah, the women, women want colors. Want color options? Yeah, Stacy wants colors. Color Melissa wants colors. Options. Uh, who oh, else? Actually, somebody asked about masks. Masks. Yeah, the GFY we can actually mask. get masks done too. GFY masks. Good for can you. We masks. Good for can you. Good for we you. do? Hey, masks can can we do me a favor? Well. Can you not can you not respond to work Twitter while we're on the show live? I was just gonna say, are we? Uh, would be great. Lock twenty seconds. We're back no, this is it. this is Scotty. No, who's putting who this is. all? He's up. not on the show know, right now. He's not like it's like I do that with my kids. Hang on, just a sec, kids. Da, 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 da. That's what you're doing. Stop it, please. All right, I just want to make sure we're taking care of everything. Oh, we have to care of people. Yeah. Okay, I, um, I have the poll Chris results. By the way. Poll results, yes. Yeah, so I won at 51%. Chris came in at 28%. Locke and Dean both tied at 9%. So. I suck at it. I well, can only come up with the ideas. I can't deliver you them. Sure. Fuck yourself. Good for, good for you. Good for you. Good um, for you. Speaking of good for yous, did you see this weekend Elon Musk purchased 10% of Twitter like we buy throw pillows with our wives at Ikea on the weekend. Did you guys see that? Good for him. Oh, good, good for, for him. him. <laughs> uh, this is from Bloomberg. Elon Musk recently pulled his 80 million followers on Twitter, asking them whether the social media platform adheres to the principles of free speech. Now, he's taking a 9.2% stake in the company, which he did. Stock price rose and soared after he decided to buy 9.2% of Twitter. How much does 9.2% of Twitter cost? $3 billion. What is that worth now? $3.6 billion. So with Twitter, he just made himself $600 million bucks just by saying, I'm buying it, bought it, has Jesus. the money, no big deal. By the way, he's worth $273 billion. Here's the tweet that he put out. Elon Musk on the 25th of March tweets, free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? Yes, 29% said no, 70%. So 
a lot of people, 189,000 likes. Keep in mind, these are his P1s. Uh, and he appeals to crazy crypto, fucked up, dumb, dumb bros. So whatever. It is what it is. Um, then he puts this out. Uh, is a new platform needed? Probably, Elon. It's not like you're a genius. And then we get some details. Musk's 9.2 stake in Twitter would cost $2.9 billion, or about 1% of his net worth, $273 billion. Uh, he Then Musk says after that tweet, the consequences of my poll will be important. Please vote carefully. Uh, that's when everybody started to pile on like these alt-right losers. Please buy Twitter. Please buy Twitter. He just became the biggest shareholder, which he did. Mm-hmm. So, so 9.2 gives him a controlling share of Twitter? No. He is no. the biggest singular shareholder of Twitter. All the other shares are out there are owned by millions of other people, some big or some small. Firms, no one yeah. owns individually more than him of that platform. So yep. his 9.2% or 10, let's just call it 10, uh, accounts for the biggest majority stakeholder, uh, singular stakeholder singular. in that company. Yeah. Right. Can he, cha- can he make changes? Here's the thing. So he puts this tweet up. Free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? Now, I've been on Twitter since 2009. Anybody else remember when they joined? It says it right on your profile. Yeah, 2009 when you've been on Twitter. 2000. How long have you been on Twitter? Yeah, you you guys check. Let's do that for fun. 2009. So 2009. We've been on it 13 years collectively, individually. Uh, Army Chris, no idea. I don't even think he knows where to find it because he's hammered. I, 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 I can find Chris's. I don't even, I can find it doesn't Chris. matter. So 13 years ago. 2012. Okay, okay 2012. Way longer than I would have thought. Now, when you guys signed up. <laughs> well, never mind. When you guys signed up, okay, you signed up for a free speech platform or did you guys sign up for a platform that could revoke Anything you say, do, or say at any point in time when you click that fucking terms of service button, which one did you sign up for? B. 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 Lock, which one did you sign up for? Somebody told me that because uh, I was wildly disappointed in the lock of weird yes or no answer. Or answer. Or All you need is a wo- yes or a no. Yeah. I, I, listen, really I'm, I'm going to no, call him C. It. There was C. a <laughs> serious lack of porn on Facebook. Yeah. Somebody told me that was not the problem on Twitter. So that's why I jumped that's over to true. Twitter. That so you didn't true. join it for free speech. You joined it because porn. Twitter had more porn than Facebook, correct? Porn. But when I you would... joined it, did you think this is a place I can say anything I want? Yes or no? No, you didn't. Chris, you I, didn't. I never shake in your head. Never been a, it's never been I've a never priority. Right. That. For a smart person. And I'm not I'm not smart. I'm definitely not as smart as Elon Musk appears to be, according to everybody that says the smartest guy in the world going out of space, smartest guy in the world. (laughs) This guy buys 10 percent of Twitter so he can change the terms of service. He's not buying Twitter to be a part of Twitter. He's buying Twitter and Mm -hmm. then tells everybody I'm. Listen, this 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 poll is it means something because I might buy Twitter. And I might change the terms of service. Now, in that tweet, he's like, Twitter's supposed to be about free speech. It never, ever, 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 ever was. You dumb fuck. It has never been about freedom of speech. When you click the terms of service button, you lose all your rights to anything you say all the time, every time you say it, because that's private enterprise, you dumb fuck. Number Uh, one, there's that that one part. Let me just get to the second part, and then we'll get Does he have a board seat or no? No, he does not. Then he can't do fuck all anyway. Right. Exactly. But he can force them to do things and make life incredibly difficult until they do, which is why he purchased 10% of that platform. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here's the other part, which I find absolutely hysterical. March 14th, he purchased those shares. March 14th, quietly purchased 9.2%. He owned a few percent. Then he bought enough to jack that rate right up to 9.2%. March 14th. Okay, March 14th. When is that now? We got we're 20 days ago. Three weeks, right? Yeah. 20 days ago. Yeah. Dickhead puts up this poll. Sorry, wrong slide. March 25th. Then he puts up this thing that says the consequences of this poll will be important. Mm-hmm. Please vote carefully. He had already purchased 10% of the company 
this was a clout chasing expedition for him. Oh, yeah. This guy used two point nine billion of his dollars to pretend like a Twitter poll would dictate him buying 10 percent of Twitter, which he did not. He already bought it. So that whole fucking thing was an act. The whole thing was for clout. Can you imagine being so fucking self-conscious, so fucking full of your shit, so fucking like self-involved that you play a prank on 80 million people and to do it, you spend two and point nine billion of your dollars. On the other hand, I look at it and I'm like, fuck, I, I can't wait to be that rich. I would love to play a prank like that where I can just splash out two point nine billion on a fucking Saturday or make it look like I did. Uh, just to fucking chase clout online. Like, that is fucking... The guy's invented g- Mars travel, for fuck's sake. He invented electric he, cars. He, he, he's you know he's changed he the world. And he's like, I, I still want to chase clout on Twitter. You know what he calls that? He calls that... He just calls that a Wednesday. Yes. He doesn't give a fuck, man. Yes. I think he's trying to entertain himself. I, I think that's... I think you're right, Army Chris. This is... Yeah. this. And, and a lot of people get pissy and they, oh, yo, fuck, you're just jealous because you don't have them. And it, yeah, of course, no, we'd, totally all love to, we'd all love to have have uh, uh, not a care in the world about money. But this just goes to show it's shit like this. It goes to show that it's a, enough's enough. They have rocket ships and fucking can go play with two billion dollars to buy fucking major shares. And co- like we got there has to be a stop. There has to be. There I, has don't, to be I a, don't think there has to be. I love it. I, I well, love everything yeah. about this. I love the bullshittery. I love the fact that he's just outed himself as a fucking liar yet again. I love the fact that he's pretending like this is no big What's deal. And he's chasing clout. The I point is, is that he feels like shit about himself. Billion dollars and put a bounty on Putin's head. Fucking yeah. show me your balls, son. That's what I mean. Something like that. Like, do right. something right with your fucking money. If you're going to be a fucking clout chasing piece of shit, that's what I'd go do. out and hand a fucking million dollars to a fucking charity in front like of that a camera. Oligarch, then. That oligarch, he, he asshole, has done that some charity. That oligarch stuff. asshole yeah. puts up a million dollars or a hundred grand or something to, for, for, for Putin's <laughs> bounty. I'm like, you cheap cunt. Yeah. Put up a hundred million, man. You're going to get some results. Yep. Um, yeah. Hundred million. The thing, the thing with Elon okay. Musk that is confusing for me always is, is like he can do this stuff, so he does it. Is, and and oftentimes, it's confusing as to like like Dean laid out this progression. Like, I don't understand. I think. Uh, there's got to be more to it. He's not a no. dumb man. He is well, off the dude, charts. There is no brilliant. more to it. I'm telling you, there's no more to it. This I'm dude is Dean. such a fucking bro. And he is so loaded that he lives in a world where money doesn't matter. Right? Like, he's got well, he so made, fucking much of it. He just made $600 million by a sending day. a tweet out. Exactly. That's you the game. Send him a GFY shirt once they go to print. I'm gonna <laughs> go fuck you. Good for you, Elon. Yep. That's good. good for you. Good for you. Good for you. I mean, yeah. while we're I watching know. what's going on in the world and people are having a hard time feeding themselves, this guy is spending 2.9 billion on There's a, a practical ad. joke on fucking Twitter. Right on. <laughs> good, good for you. Uh, it is interesting, though, that down you. in the states, they viewed Twitter as this bastion of free speech for a lot of years, and and I don't know how much change it never si- since we've been on it. There really? has been in this in 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 the free speech world, but there was always that illusion. Dean, I mean, I I think your question at the front end of this is interesting. Did you sign up thinking that you could say just about anything? There are people out there that thought that Twitter at the front end of this thing was this sort of medium where you go Dummy. on Facebook was you yeah, sign up and you keep track a, of the be a bastion of freedom. Well, yes, Joe Rogan it was fucking, thought that Joe Rogan clicked. I accept with Spotify. How's that working out? Yeah, dude, exactly. every single platform. Let me just remind Every one of you free, dumb, loving Canadians and every single crypto bro and everybody that gets pissed off. I'm hard on the crypto, so you're really just insulting me now? Sorry, buddy. I didn't realize. See, realize. Mm. Um, Every single one. 
Don't buy the when dip. You, it's shit. When you, when you, especially if it's a uh, past it's crab and date. lobster. Yeah. Uh, when you check that little box to like join things and like say, yeah, I'm going to like, I downloaded this app yesterday. I'm like, yeah, do you accept our terms of service? And I'm like, you're goddamn right. You know why? Cause I know what that means. You know why? It's cause I'm not a fucking idiot. It's cause genetically I'm not predisposed to being an idiot. It's cause my mom didn't drink a whole bunch living in the trailer park. Unlike a lot of you, uh, it's cause my dad, my uh, dad. you know, yeah, well, and I know, but like you came out okay, like you figured it out, Ish. like you know. Ish. Well, let, Ish. let's let's manage our expectations on that. But anyway. I I I think we know, Dean. I think we now know more about what these services are, and and do you know under you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I think back in the day there was this illusion, and Can it, you honestly be surprised because conventional media went through the same transition. As soon as it became corporately owned, there was no more fucking, yeah. you know, open, open, open news reporting or whatever you want to call it. It's corporately owned, therefore it's corporately influenced. So you do the mm. fucking math. But now, the public is more aware of those things than they have yeah. been over the years. And Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all these, you know, if a new one comes up, TikTok, we all kind of have a better sense of what what the you know what you can and can't do in the playground yeah right if you show up if you show up at your house one day you open the door you walk into the hallway you drop trowel and you take a steamy coiler in the middle of your hallway that's your right absolutely 100 percent. you can do that if you walk into Saks fifth Probably avenue grab dip. and you drop trowel and hang a coiler in there they'll throw you out yeah. And if you think that your argument is any different than being on a fucking social media platform about getting thrown out of there than it is about getting thrown out of no, dumping no, coilers in Saks Fifth Avenue. Right. And we, we know you're we know that. I, I, but I think we're all more educated now than we were when these things started out. How much I education do people need some of us. to understand a private owned company can do a whatever do the fuck they want? A lot. Yeah. A lot. Dude, the it answer is a is lot. A lot. Why? Why? Yeah. Because, like I said, because for dumb. thousands of years, we have had stupid people among us. Yeah. And these are the stupidest of stupid. Now, Elon Musk is not stupid, but he absolutely Isn't plays the stupid like a fucking violin. And it's awesome. <laughs> Listen, on, I the get back, that on, on, on the back One of the t-shirt DFY idea, Jerry. It, no, on the back of it now, like the Star Wars scroll, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. I want for thousands of years we've had stupid people dot, roaming dot. this planet. It is nice. <laughs> and on the front, it's just a big GFY. GFY. Yeah, I think we've done some good work there. That would be anyway. a good shirt. Um, uh, Sorry. I'd like to bring, no, I'd like to bring Bonzi into the podcast at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, how's that CIA safe house treating you? Tell us what's happening. <laughs> yeah, this is an excellent safe house. Based on the conversation we were having, this is an excellent time to bring in Bonzi. Yeah. yeah. Let's Listen, bring, the, let's bring in one of them right now. Good for you guys Good for launching you. the clothing line tonight. I'm really proud of you. Good for you. What a, what a segue. How are you, brother? Good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. I'm doing really well. Thanks. Yeah, uh, body's um, healing and yeah. uh, from the motorbike accident and uh, feeling good. I'm you sure I don't like it when you call it a motorbike, hit? by the way. It's not a motorbike, it's a motorcycle. It's a motorbike, scooter. motorcycle. They call it motos here. You don't even use the full term. They're very uh, short on their words here. They take off the S's and the syllables yeah. and make it very are short. The, uh, are the gunshot wounds healing up? He didn't get shot. <laughs> he hasn't been shot, hasn't been stabbed, but uh, I wanted to shoot him last week. Yes. Oh. So, Bonds was on our show last week. I love him. Let me just say this. Bonzi has a home here for as long as he wants it, provided he doesn't do this kind of stuff anymore. But we're going to talk about that. So, Bonzi's on the show last week and was brilliant. He's so good at bringing people stay. on. You can stay. Yeah. He's for so now. good. At, yeah. And he's in Nicaragua, and he's been documenting his journey. And we've, I mean, we've had real heart-to-hearts. We've developed a friendship. I'm attached to Bonzi. He's attached to us. We're all pals, right? So last week he comes on the show, brings Bongo Bob. It was a rip. He started getting drunk. And I'm like, fuck, thank God the podcast is over because Bonzi was like starting to slur, getting a little loud, yelling at people. You know how people do when they get a couple bowls of loudmouth soup in them, right? Chris, you know the deal. So does Lachlan. Everybody does. So long story short, I appeared on his podcast that night. Started the podcast was pretty good. We kind of had it out because we put a bet on. And I don't even want to talk about the bet today. 
Will Smith and Chris Rock was real. He said it wasn't still maintained. Lost the bet. Won't pay. Don't care. Not the point. I'm going to play a clip from Bonzi's podcast last week. This was after I left towards the end of the podcast. And I'm going to play it for you. It's it's Bonzi and Glassy. This is his producer. This is the same day we blew you up for like, he is a great interviewer. He does a great podcast. We love this guy so much. Let me play a clip at the end of his show. Watch this. Go check them out. DeanBlendell.com. Huge family. And I'm uh, I'm jacked to be a part of it. I love it. We have fun on Twitter. If you follow me at Sean GL, follow Trip with Bonzi. We have a lot of fun just bantering back and forth and that's what totally I'm about and we are 100%. all a family it's ryan lynn it's lachlan cross it's dean that's blundell right. it's joe that nerd it's it's everybody um uh, listen just go to dean blundell.com yeah. dean blundell.net as well um there's so many and amazing say hi to bob podcasts. ross while you're there <laughs> and please show some love for bob ross listen lachlan cross 95.7 cruise yes. fm out of edmonton monday to friday if you think your radio station sucks at wherever you're from and wherever you're living and you want something new and fresh and you want to laugh every morning and you're sick and tired of the same go bullshit, go and listen. Because it, it's online. It's 2022. Fucks. You fucks. Go figure it out. It's Lachlan Cross. It's the locker room. Those guys are amazing. It, it is literally the last remaining best radio Thanks, show on this planet. Welcome. Every- You're welcome for all the plugs. Fuck, I thought that was pretty good. I'm sure 95.7 is well, like just clawing at trying to pay you for promoting their. No, no, no. Don't, they don't, don't, hat- don't hatchet the guy. Don't hatchet the guy right now. I love I'm it. Not hatcheting. I know you love it. I know we all love it. Bonds. Text me Lassie his 200. His- yeah, I don't think he is. I'm worried about him too. Uh, your 200th show is this evening, correct? Your 200th is, yeah. podcast. Yeah. Now, here's where I, because you you wanted to come on the show. We'll just air it in front of people because I love you. I and mean, you love me. We love each other. Where You're like, can I come on to, to, to talk about my 200th show? It's special. I'm like, no. I'm like, no, you can't. You got dadded hard. And, and the reason yeah, why you can't is because today. you were so wasted on your podcast. I literally had to take last week's podcast out of our rotation because I'm like, that is not professional grade, which I've already had this conversation with you, right? We've had that. We've, we've had a personal, great personal conversation about it, but like, and I, first question I asked, I'm like, are you okay? Because that was unlike, like we had a couple of those Bonzi podcasts and then you cleaned it up and you got fucking, your shows have been great. You've been killing it. But then I watched that. I'm like too wasted. I think. I would love your thoughts because to me, that's like one of those things where you're like, Hey, listen, uh, love your content, but you got to fucking tighten it up. You can't get like 12 bell wasted towards the end of your show. You weren't that drunk to begin with, right? Like you just progressively got there or did you have some cocaine? No, no blow or anything. I've been off of that. <laughs> for, uh, but what a fucking I, I, was, I had rums going uh, beside me. Listen, it was, um, I'd had a really great day. It got it got a little turned sideways. Uh, personal won't talk about it. You know, Dean. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it it kind of uh, it was a it was a weird day. I was still on, which in hindsight I didn't really think about it because I was having a great day. But I still had some painkillers uh, on board from the night before, and one that morning I only took one. And so and, and listen, I by the end of the show, yeah, I was slurring there for sure. One thing I will say, it was actually, it's too bad you took it down and maybe not clipped the end because it was a pretty good show. We had you guys on. You made fun I of me. I uh, disagree. No, 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 we, no. we rolled no. right into an interview with Chris Cram for Breaking News, which was a good segment. Yeah, let's right talk about Chris. Right into the interview that I did earlier. No, hang on. Hang on. No, let him finish. Doing, I'm, let him finish. Sorry, I'm just doing to him what he was doing to his guest. If that's okay. we're going to talk about. No, 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 no. We don't want to upset the fruit basket. No, no, no. We just want Bonzi to finish what he's saying, and then we'll okay. then we'll figure it out. Go ahead, Bonzi. Go ahead. No, oh, after, after the Chris Cram interview, we rolled right into the interview that I pre-recorded that day. And then we did uh, the videos with Glassy. Mm-hmm. As we do at the end of every show, and then yeah, just talking about you guys and stuff. I got a little carried away and slurry, and yeah. it is what it is. Over to so you, Ryan. Sorry to sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead, Ryan. So I I I was obviously part of the open or the opening of that show with Dean. We went on to talk about the whole um, correct stupid bet, right? And uh, 
I, I stuck around afterwards. Like I, I, I left the podcast. I went downstairs. I made a bite to eat. And I'm like, you know, I, Fonzie's still on. I'm going to watch the show. And I, I put it on. I And I don't give two flying shits about car racing. But Chris Cram, your guest, is a really knowledgeable guy. Super, super knows his shit. Yeah. Would have been great to hear anything he had to say. Would have been amazing. You didn't give him a chance to talk at all and every time he did try to answer but 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 what up but what about but what about what about and you saw him i want you to watch that interview bonds and i want to watch you uh, watch his face every time you cut him off he was like a deflated balloon and it was so disappointing because he was such a well-spoken guy i was about to learn a whole lot about uh something i didn't give a fuck about but he was a very intriguing guest and it was it was like a like a fucking car accident. Did you when you when you went back and watched it? And this is professional development. That's how I look at this. I don't look at it like let's gang up on Bonzarelli. No, 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 I, I no. This is man. this yeah. is not judging. I I love no. Bonzi. I love his show and I love his yeah. interview skills. Like we it, literally it, fucking like you said we yeah, pumped totally. his fucking tires big time. For, and then you went out and you're like, how yeah. many times can you stick your wiener in a light socket? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So my 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 thing is this. Is that you are okay? You got out of hand that night, but I'm excited for your show tonight. I just want to make sure you're not going to kill a bottle of Cristal and pop some painkillers prior to the actual pro. No, we're done with the. We're off the painkillers. I only had them for a couple of days actually, and uh, it. Uh, yeah, just listen. One of those and, things. And the reason I, why I'm addressing it here, I've been hang having on. a great time here. I just really. Have- just a, let me it's finish. The so, reason why I'm addressing sorry. this, no, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm interrupting you. Totally. You don't have to say sorry to me. Um, the reason why I'm addressing it is because I got inundated with like emails, tweets from people going, hey, uh, are you watching Bonzi's show right All now? All of us did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we got to address it and then move forward, right? Otherwise, like, you know, I don't want to embarrass you. So this shouldn't yeah. be embarrassing. This is just like, hey, man, uh, you got shit tanked in your last podcast. Yeah. What's up and what, what's going on tonight? Yeah, I'm not embarrassed at all. Uh, it is what it is. That's tripping with Bonzi. It's kind of how it started. We dialed it back, <laughs> fell yeah. off the rails once yeah. there, and uh, still had a great time. And Chris Graham and I had a great conversation after. He didn't quite give the harsh sentiment that Mr. Lindley did. But um, listen, I will apologize to Chris Graham for if I did cut him off all those times. And I'm not I'm not a big fan of watching myself back. But I, I know, I've and this is why. You, from... you and I have had that. You won't watch yourself. And I've told you, you got to do it. Because especially for in a situation like this, do it watch yourself in this interview i don't know why he needs to there, he's got um, people like us shitting we, all over listen him. do we do we is there egg salad sandwiches and coffee at the end of this fucking discussion here or what? <laughs> <laughs> listen i got a great show coming up tonight i'm proud what? of uh, okay, i got some something. let him finish let him finish let him talk about the show and okay. then we'll go to lock yeah he's got a big show tonight he's gonna be totally sober for almost 200. all of it i don't care if you drink he's just 200 this is a big fucking deal bonzi does right a good on, show brother. he does yeah, yeah Cheers, thanks bro and I appreciate you guys having me on and putting it through the network. I really do. Um, and I am sorry to Dean, and you said I didn't have to say sorry, but no. I'm sorry if that, if, um, you know, I was too drunk uh, last show at the end of it. I was definitely <laughs> slurring there. I saw the clip. It's pretty bad. Um, now listen, fuck, not a big deal. Having a great time in San Juan del Sur. I've been lucky and blessed enough to come down here and travel the world and do what I do. And uh, tonight, 200th episode, my mom is finally going to come on the show. Sarge? Oh, my. Sarge nice. Oh, you can't on. be hammered tonight. You need no, to that's yes, right. the yes, words. I can't be hammered. I will um, minimize my bastardial language when I come on, bro. Please do. Uh, so we got me mom's coming on, Sarge. Uh, the girl that saved my life, 2016, today, as a matter of fact. I almost got taken by that wasp. And uh, the girl that saved my life, on. she's never been on the show. So we're going to have her on uh, real quick. And then we got a bunch of musical guests. Greg Ball from Kingston. He um, plays with uh, Buddy from the Hip, Paul Langlois, as part of the Campfire Liars Club. And then we got some other great musicians. And we're going to have a, we got, a, I've been sent a lot of videos, uh, congrats videos. Uh, Locke's going to agree to come on and um, make a, an appearance. I, sounds pretty messy. Do you really need me? I, like, I'll just fucking you, make it worse. I, I, I wasn't an interview. I just want you to come on and say, hey, fuck, you're crazy Bonzi, and congrats on Hey, the I have something. I have something. Okay, listen. Um, uh, we work in an industry where um, this kind of stuff happens behind the scenes, and, and, and so we just – we've normalized this. 
and it's I know how it is when people see other people getting critiqued, they're probably just dying a slow death. I, uh, but it's just it's part of it. Uh, I think and people are enjoying it in the comment section. They're having yeah. a great okay, time. Okay, this is the All fourth right, just, wall removal. It's great. Yeah, it's I, good. yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A lot of people have a hard time watching. The other thing that maybe needs to be said out loud is Bonzi is um, one of those guys we all not just love, but we also kind of worry about a little bit. And and the reason why I thought it would be okay for me to say something uh, at this point is because I have been very vocal about Bonzi and what and, and his life because I'm jealous as fuck. He is living this unbelievable life, bouncing all over God's green earth. And so at times I have said horrible things like, I hope you get stabbed in Nicaragua, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> among now, others. Among other things. Like, and uh, I, Hold it. Like yesterday's text was like, have you been shot yet? Like stuff like that. <laughs> I say uh, horrible things about my buddy Bonzi. And I, 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 I think what needs to happen right now is the people need to be aware that as much as we are hard on Bonzi, we fucking love him. And when he falls off the rails, and we all secretly hope it happens on a regular basis because it's <laughs> unintended content, yeah. we are all a little bit concerned about him as well. So when we watched what we watched on Friday, Bonzi, it was we were dissecting it differently. Right? Like we're sure. taking that in and going, oh fuck, is he is he gonna go on a run here? Like we do worry about you. You know that. All yeah, kidding I aside, because sure. we don't, love you. Like I don't like want that's you to the, get fucking No, he doesn't stabbed. want you to get stabbed. If you did, he would appreciate a picture but I for also, a full account. I also yeah, don't we love want, you. It's just hard love. Yeah. Yeah. It's we also love. we also um worry when you say that you spent the day taking pills and drinking rum like yeah. it's it wasn't it's, taking pills it was one pill and i drank some rum yeah for sure uh not one of my smarter ideas also not the first I, I listen i just got a little carried away that day and um one of my concerns and worries of my of my own was that i would come down here and fall back into the cocaine world and uh, and getting out or going out every night till 2 3 4 a.m in the morning doesn't really yeah. matter um but I came down here and completely people are expecting this of of me down here. And they're like, they're shocked when I go home at eight, nine o'clock at night and I'm not off the rails every single night. And I'm fucking proud of that. I had one. That was my that was my one and only. And um, eh, no regrets, man. I just I, want I to really give some context as to why Lachlan is we not felt like for we... all of us. I want you to get the fuck on it personally. <laughs> 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 well, Rook in the comments wanted me to be shit faced for the 200 show tonight, and uh, I got to be a good boy now. I'll be uh, I'll be on the waters. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing that happens when you're not like 12 out of 12 hammered and high on perks. The other thing that happens is you do a better job. Yeah, yeah you're a good broadcaster. Yeah, as, you're a great as broadcaster. Yeah, yeah. Fair. Fair. You are. You're a and good a guy. Constructive criticism. I'm glad this happened. I thank you, boys, for for the tough love. Um, yeah, I, you know, watching back and seeing that clip because I did. I fast forwarded through the show today, Dean, after we talked, and I just sort of saw the structure of it because you kind of gave me shit for for it being a train wreck, but it actually had flow and structure. And uh, contrary to some's belief, I do put uh, a lot of work into the show. This is we know. flow and structure. This we know you do structure. We know you do. Do you have any of we this flow and structure? Do you have flow and structure? I'm going to work with you on flow and structure. A That's the commitment I'm making. I have a teleprompter. And you need the Zoom so, Because I have like the worst memory. I write shit. Zoom. I don't You know who else verbatim, you should get? Me. You know who else shit. you should sit down and get some tips from? Is Bongo Bob. Yeah. <laughs> like, especially you hygiene. Really like hygiene, yeah. Hygiene tips. For um, sure. <laughs> he looks like he smells like uh, like my grandpa. No comment. Uh, probably a little more than just his grand. He's how long he's has grandpa been dead. He's a he's a great dude. Mongo Bob looks like the guy that shows up at Christmas. Yeah, and very yeah. talented. Greyhounded fella. to your place, and you pick him up at the Greyhound, and then he steals your toilet paper and all your empties. Yeah, <laughs> but he's gone and, 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 he's and, gone and just refuse, before Christmas, <laughs> and, and refuses to do laundry in the laundry machine. He'd rather wash it in the sink. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your sink. <laughs> uh, my sink, motherfucker. <laughs> how, hard is the, how hard is the pressure on the garden hose? Yeah. <laughs> I mean the shower. Water is an issue here sometimes. Uh, I have to give them that. Um, it's not oh. always on. <laughs> you should. Uh, you should actually. A, a comment in the in the sections is a really actually the best advice you're going to get. You, if you are going to continue to drink, which fucking God love you. I hope you do. Um, and I'm, I'm you should need to talk point. to Army Chris about the 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 um, the consumption, consumption continuum. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm not even good at it. No. It's the consumption of like, like the this. time curve and the understanding of the power of positive drinking, which we can, we'll work on that. All right. We're going to work on that with you, Bonds. But listen, I'm excited for your show tonight. Yeah, I man. know it's going to be a great show. It is your 200th. Your mom is going to be on the show with you. Lady yeah. that saved your life five years, seven years ago to the day Family. almost. She's yeah. going to be on the show with you. Tripping with Bonzi. Go and subscribe. Listen. You can Great even watch the last podcast. show and have a laugh at him fucking slurring through it like you at took least it down, 40 you minutes. Of a bitch. No, no, I yours. took it off of, off of our feet. Oh, yeah, yours on yours. yeah, it's on my YouTube Dude. channel. Go check it yeah, out. Go check it out and go subscribe. He's a great follow. And I love the fact that we can do this honestly. And you can see that man smiling at the end of it. Do you know why? Because we give tough love here, but it is love. Yeah, it's for sure. It's love. If I do I've come on tonight, here. I'm going to wear turquoise. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, I think you would look good in turquoise. Lock, it, yeah, honest, make sure it's a fucking turtleneck, please. Yeah. What Brings works better? The, oh, V-neck. I'm gonna what get works better, Bonzi? The, the pre-recorded ones or the live ones? What do you want us to do? Whatever you guys want. If you want to do pre-recorded and send me one of those, that'd be great. Okay. I don't even know what you're what? talking about. Well, because I didn't ask you because you were mad. No, it was, this was even yesterday. Um, but I didn't ask you. I was just you locking up. you were already on the show. And, you know, I was thankful for you. I didn't want to take up your, your hold on, time. Hold on, hold on. Um, I don't even know what you're talking about still. I might do that. What are you, what are you talking about? Can I, can I read it? Can I read it? Bonzi, is it, would you mind if sure, I read the, the message you sent me? So, Gene, yeah. you're going to love this. Is, this is possibly one of the funniest requests I've ever received in my He's life. He's a good man. He's a I know he is. Bonzi. But listen to the wording of this. All right. Hey, pal. For my 200th show tomorrow, you want to join me live and say congrats, or would you rather film a short video and send it to me? Who's straight up? I mean, who's ever sent you a request for congrats? Hey, Dean, can you call me? Congratulate me. I uh, yeah. just took, took yeah, a big shit. Oh, that's totally show. Bonzi. I, it's, I, I, he I think it's it. great. He can. Do, I think he can it's get great. Trip I, I, I know what you're saying, yeah. Linz, but I, I don't know why I Bonzi love the, can fucking do it. It's the wording. And wait till you see some of the great. Uh, it was the wording we got, I got sent uh, tonight. It's going to be awesome. I'm really looking get? forward to it. I'm excited. I'm I'm going to watch to see who sent you. Congratulations! Now mm -hmm. you probably got, you got a ton of, a because you've interviewed a ton of people on your show. Jeremy Taggart uh, for one, uh, and then the rest will be a surprise. I'm not going to rhyme them. Reggie, all tell me Theo uh, Flurry. Yeah, is Reggie the cop coming on? We discussed yesterday. Um, my my pal and I the, uh, whether we should send Reggie a message and see if he would do it but i thought i thought best it'd be best not yeah because last time you saw him he was trying to kill you right so that he was yeah, at like my how door many knocking messages? rather aggressively Monty, it how like many he messages wanted to kill me start with this start with this happy 200th uh, episode bonzi where the fuck's my money how many are gonna be like that <laughs> uh two, that'd be dean and i <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're just gonna wash that. that too now, i was on that pod as well are we gonna wash wash that bet is that what we're doing start fresh so you don't have to be out 700 bucks before you come home you want to just start fresh sure well if that's cool with you guys i i, I, I hate yeah. to welch on a bet as you so put it um Welsh. i just need you to do Welsh. one thing i'll let you welch i know ryan will let you welch i just need you to look into the camera Excuse and say me? one thing before we go okay yeah maybe i lost a bet and totally pushed out and welched on that bet and dean and ryan were totally right dean and ryan were right um i was wrong i i i will sit here keep in mind i might I, dude you gotta nail this you gotta <laughs> nail this you can't fuck with the words like i'm not playing around here you are right, i will make it, you pay me it was real now for sure of what happened Will Smith I, and Chris Rock were real. Yes, you were wrong. Lost a bet, and you welched. I was wrong on that. I did not welch on the bet because I think we have a misunderstanding I'm of what this bet was. I'm giving you an opportunity was. to get out of it, and you're arguing with me now. Take it and run. Just take, take the, the opportunity. Take the old branch. 
I, I just admitted that I was wrong. It was real. And there we go. And so you I'm welched. sorry for that. And you guys are right. And you Dean, when my salary negotiations come up at work, can you come in and like cut me yeah. off at the knees too and, and yeah. ruin anything that I might have as an increase? That's totally. my bet. I didn't say I was giving up on this bet. I'm going to do that to you every time. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We need to move on. We got to clear the air here. We yeah. can't keep going on in anger. This has been very healthy. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, Speaking well, of healthy well, today, Dean I did some meditation for the then. first time in quite some years. Actually, you meditated today? Yeah, I did. And it felt great. It was a breathing meditation exercise. Super relaxing. Uh, very helpful. Thanks to my friend Pat for that. And um, yeah, it was fantastic. I think I'm going to do that, um, incorporate that into my daily uh, routine. Yeah, and there, I'd love I think you should start doing more pills yeah. and rum. I <laughs> too, yeah. I'm with Army. I need too. another beer. Are we wrapping this? All right. Yeah, yeah. We're wrapping right. it up. That is uh, Greg Bond tonight. Bonzi Live is his podcast. Guys. Triple Congratulations, Bonzi. Bonzi. Is the name of it. Uh, congrats Thank on you, your Ryan. 200th, brother. I really mean that. Uh, and I will watch it. I'm looking forward to it. So, tripping with Bonzi on YouTube. I'm not going to watch any of that fucking madness. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Talk to you soon. You're going to be a guy. All right. There's Greg Bond. He's Gandhi. So is Locke, apparently. That is uh, Army Chris at The Army Chris is where you can find him on Twitter. Fire for Effect, the name of the podcast. Make sure you subscribe and download. It's really, really good. Um, you got a podcast coming tomorrow night, too? Is that correct? Uh, what day is this? Today's, Tuesday. Today's Monday. <laughs> Wednesday, dude. We'll Wednesday, Wednesday, works Wednesday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yes, I do. All right. All right. Nice. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you being Cheers, here. Cheers, gents. Have a good one. Thank you, you too, Ryan pal. Lindley. Yeah, good to see you. The Sheeple Shepherd Podcast. We'll talk to you soon. Follow him at Ryan Lindley. Love you, brother. I love you, too. You owe me 200 bucks. I do not, actually. I just, just uh, did something for the everybody. Where we I know. That was to... for the greater good. Yeah, I'll, was... I'll just give you. I'll send you 500 bucks. <laughs> Shut up. I'll pay his debts. I feel like I do it all the time that. anyway. We, 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 do, we do that anyway. I know. Thanks, buddy. Good to see you. Have a great night. You too. Uh, Ryan Lindley, Sheeple Shepherd. That's it for us. Have a great day. Really appreciate you being here, everybody. Don't forget to sign up for a newsletter at DeanBlundell.com and say hi to our partners and friends over at Domination. Dominate with content. If you're a gamer, streamer, podcaster, or more, go to Domination.com, DMNTN.com. Uh, try them for free. Uh, Adam and his group came up with AI that make it super easy to make promos. So like you get one file, you get 72 promos, legacy projects that you can put on every platform if you're a streamer, gamer, podcaster, or more. Uh, so try them today. Try them for free. Go to DMNTN.com. Ed's Fine Imports. His gits are the best. You can wear them too. Uh, boxer briefs, pouch in the front, super breathable, luxury branded underwear with the pouch for your fellas. Ed's Fine Imports.com, Canadian made underwear, boxer briefs, good dude. Order from him, use good promo code GITCH3. That promo code will get you a free pair of underwear when you order from Ed's Fine Imports.com. By the way, massive online store. You'll love it. And last but not least, our friends at Easy Auto Financial, uh, people that help you get into a car, depending on your financing situation, how's your credit, good credit, bad credit, they don't care. They just get you credit and you don't have to pay for it. All your financing is free, right? All these people are like, we're going to charge you. No, these guys don't charge you for financing. Easyautofinancial.ca. Sign up. No obligation. Da, ba, da, da, ba, da, da. Easyautofinancial.ca. Uh, don't forget, 6.30 tonight, about an hour from now. I've uh, just been reminded by our friend, Mr. Ryan Lindley, blackballed with James DeFiore and Linz. They're going to be on with Dr. Michael Geist. Geist is the king. And the Canadian government's trying to ram through Bill C-11 which means people that do this are going to have to be put under the thumb of that podunt fucking loser, Ian Scott, the CRTC. So if you're a content creator, what you want to do is uh, tune into Black Ball, which is coming up right here uh, at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So watch out. My friends will be bringing you some stuff. Don't forget, your Go Fuck Yourself shirts will be available at DeanBlundell.com coming up in the next uh, day or two. So please check back. <clears throat> have a great day. I think that's it for us. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>